There we are. So, uh, my profile, my beautiful old profile. And let's hop straight in and enjoy the music. And yeah, here we are in Trickmania United Forever. Uh, you have already seen the screen because I did also play the Trickmania Nations Forever campaign through uh, Trickmania United because Trickmania United basically includes the entire Trickmania Nations game. So we just did it uh, via this way. And uh, yeah, so as I said, um, technically, uh, we should have also played Trickmania United because it uh, also has a different menu and a few different maps. But uh, good thing is that we can also just play the old maps in this game here, so you technically are not really missing anything. Although, um, I could maybe try to show you... Um, wait, let me Google something. Maybe I can also show you how the menu looked like in the first version in Trickmania United. Uh, Trickmania United. The thing is, um, I don't think it took very long until the Forever version came out, so... You also see it like uh, in my game, I already have the Forever in the title. So, I don't know if I can find anything about the regular Trickmania United, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, this is how this is how the regular um, things looked like without the Trickmania uh, United Forever title. This is how it looked. This also looked kinda cool though. Wait, where is my camera? What is this? Wait, where am I? Hello? Hello? Where am I? Okay, Grenady gone. But anyway, so this is how it looked like um, uh, without the Forever version. But, yeah, I'm, it, I could have also tried to get this version to work, but it wasn't really worth it, to be honest. So, we're just gonna play Trickmania United Forever, which is basically the full version of the game, and then everybody is happy, I think. So, yeah, we're gonna do exactly that, and, um, yeah, this game offers a lot of uh, content, once again, in the solo mode. After uh, Trickmania Nations Forever and Trickmania Nations ESWC, uh, there wasn't really much to do, only, like, regular racing, basically. But uh, in Trickmania United, we had the return of some of the popular game modes. So besides the regular racing, we also have now platform again, we have stunts again, yay! <laughs> and we also have puzzle again, yay! <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna play through all of that. This is basically the regular United campaign that we have. Additionally to that, um, we of course also have nations, which we already fully finished with all of the 260 medals. But we also have the Star Trek campaign. And the Star Trek campaign is... I have a hair in my mouth, what the fuck? Ugh. 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 Blah. Dude. Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> anyway, um, so we have also the Star Trek campaign, which is basically an entire um, additional racing campaign. But we're gonna do that at the ending, I think, because this one is kinda, kinda special. But yeah, um, for today, we're gonna mainly focus on United, and probably start with the race campaign, because that's the first thing to do. And, um, yeah, so the thing about United is, um, you, Trickmania United has all of the seven environments that we already saw. So we have uh, Rally, Desert, Snow, Island, Coast, Bay, and also Stadium. So we have seven entire environments in this game. And um, the way the race mode works is that basically, um, in each difficulty, from white to black, which you also know from uh, Trickmania 2020, you, of course, also have uh, maps for each environment. And in this case, it's five maps per environment. So five multiplied by seven is 35. So we have 35 maps per difficulty, except for black. And yeah, so we have a lot of race tracks to do. And the thing is, um, in the Trackmania United version, which I told you about, um, the entire white series got reworked. So we had entirely different maps um, and they updated them because they were literally too easy. And um, I'm just gonna show it to you because I actually downloaded the maps. Um, so I hope we'll... Um, where can I find them? Downloaded here. I downloaded all of the maps and we're also gonna play through the maps, um, which are in Adeo maps, but they are not in this version of the game. They were in the previous version, basically. And they had to get updated. So we're gonna start with those, I think, because there I can also explain the environments a little bit. And then we're gonna hop into the actual campaign. So I hope you understood what, I, uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. We're now gonna play the outdated maps, basically. So also here we have uh, five maps per environment. And yeah, they all are extremely short. Like you see the offer times, sub 10 seconds on pretty much every map. And already the length, like wide maps, 10 second length, and that's it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they are extremely easy. You can already see it on the picture. Or not because I'm in front of it, but uh, let's let's just hop onto the first map. Let's start with the bay environment, which you might know from Trackmania Sunrise. 
And um, you already see him. This is the entire map basically. So we start, we have this turn, and there's the finish. And this is basically how all of the maps in Trigmena United looked like. And literally for that reason, they just reworked the entire white campaign because it's way too easy. So yeah, kinda XTD. Yeah, we're gonna start playing with that, but before we do this actually, uh, let's take a look at the profile things here, because we haven't chosen our skins that we're gonna drive with yet. Um, we're not gonna see them anyway too much, because I'm a camp free player, but let's just go through it and see what we have. So, we have, of course, uh, first of all, the American car, which is the desert car. I have no idea why they call it American, by the way, because nobody calls it like this. This is the desert car. <laughs> So we have also new skins here, uh, I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Then we have Rally, of course, which is also um, an environment from Trackmania uh, Original, from the very first one we played. Also with some new skins, I think at least. Um, what do we take here? The purple, dude, the mad cow. I wanna drive the mad cow, man. <laughs> and then we also have the snow car, which is the third environment from Trackmania uh, Original, so also one of the very first ones. What do we have here? Bubble Cat. Wild. We have Japon. <laughs> Japon. <laughs> XDD. Dude, I wanna drive with Japon. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Then of course we have the um, Trackmania Sunrise environments, which were the next three that got added um, into the franchise. We have the Island Car, of course. Wait, what? Huh? What are those names? Why, is it, why, why, why does it say U underscore? Okay, that's a bit weird, but... What do we take? Yellow, white... Red, green, blue, or black. I think I'm going to take the yellow one. The yellow one looks hella juicy. Ah, because of Unite. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, Japan is French. Ah, okay, dude, that's such an ideal move to do. Okay, we're going to take yellow, I think. All right, then we have Coast. Uh, what? Oh, okay, so we have the same colors for Coast, actually. We have black, blue, green, red, white, and yellow. I think I'm going to go for yellow again. Yellow looks, like, super nice. I don't know. I like the color scheme with the yellow and the black. That's... Good. And then also the same for the bay car. Black, blue, green, red, white, and yellow. And we're gonna take yellow as well, I think. And yeah, then we of course have the stadium car. Um, and yeah, you already saw the skin that I made here. My Yep Cox skin. <laughs> we're gonna just continue using that one. And yeah, now our skins are chosen. Wait! Wait, we can choose horns. Wait. We have horns! Okay, wait, wow, okay, wait. Okay, truck horn. Dude, 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 dude. Alright, not too bad. Okay, that's some kind of, yeah, I don't know, sounds like Asian horn ish things. Okay, similar. Also similar. Dude, what is this? Dude, imagine you play online and you have horns enabled and some guy is behind you doing this all of the time. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this one's good. Bruh. Wait, isn't that... XCD man. Catch him. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the classic. Okay, I, I see one is good. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, this one's also good. Ah! Wait. It's only this. Yeah, we're gonna go see one. We're gonna go this. The classic. Alright. <laughs> so, but now, uh, I think we are through all of the menu stuff. The bindings and the inputs should all be correctly still, I hope at least. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm ready. Let's hop into the maps. And uh, yeah, as I said, we're not gonna start with the actual race campaign. We're gonna start with the maps, uh, the maps from Trackmania United, which got reworked because they are too easy. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna do exactly that, so tuck, browse, download it. And we're gonna start with the bay maps, or like in general with the bay environments. 
And yeah, as I said, five maps per environment, and we're gonna start with a Bay A1 basically. And the good thing is, um, when you already played this these maps here, um, they will also it will also help you uh, for the actual white maps because most of the reworked white maps are basically these maps here, but uh, made a bit longer. You know, I actually fucked up offer. Amazing. And yeah, we're of course gonna go for all of the offer medals in the entire game once again. Will be absolutely Omega Lul. Might take some time, but we're gonna see. Alright, is that enough now? I did touch again, I think, so I'm not sure. Nope. Amazing. <sighs> no acceleration penalty? No. That shit didn't exist back then, in the good old days. Alright, suck. Alright, that was clean. There you go. 42. So yeah, the bay environment is uh, one of the environments from Trickmania uh, United, uh, Trickmania United, from Trickmania Sunrise, of course. And yeah, there's not too much to say about this environment, though. It's kind of similar to how Stadium feels like, sort of. Except that the car is more sensitive and it can slide out, basically. But overall... Good mapping, Nadeo. But overall, it's, there's not too lo a lot to say about this. Like, the, the car can go pretty fast, it can slide out when you uh, steer too much. But, yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> I don't know. That's all you can really say about it. Alright, is this enough now? And yeah, we of course also have completely... I missed it. Completely new OST again. Um, for all of the environments, but... Uh, the OST from this game is way worse than the one from Trickmania Sunrise, if you ask me. Like, for example, remember in Trickmania Sunrise, we had the uh, juicy-ass music. Like, we had songs with actual uh, vocals, etc. And it was really, really cool. And I mean, here, the, the sound is also kind of good, but it's also not that great, so... Yeah, I don't know. I never enjoyed the, the, um, the soundtrack of this game too much. Like, I listen to it occasionally, but mostly I just listen to my own music and that's it. And yeah, we equaled the AT. Zack, perfect. Bing. And let's go to A3. Yeah, Bay. I mean, Bay is somewhat keyboard friendly, but the faster the maps are, um, the worse Bay gets for keyboard. So basically, the very slow maps are fine, but the faster uh, you go, the more you have to smooth steer. So it's some. It's nah. It's it's kind of keyboard friendly. There are worse environments for keyboard, but there are also better ones, basically. Alright, here we have a little bit of a tricky map, because I think here you could do some, like, small, cheesy shortcuts like this. Or you can, like, cut through the, the shopping mall, basically. Oh, okay, wait, wait, I have a plan, wait. Watch and learn, guys, watch and learn. So we go here, and then we go... Oh, I wanted to go inside of that. <laughs> Let's try again. I wanna get that cut. Ah! Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Give it to me. Ah, there you go. Alright, and we have the finish. So yeah, the maps are all below 10 seconds, basically. And you see, they are they, they, all, they often only have like one or two turns, and they are just too easy, basically. They are just too easy, and that's the reason why uh, they got reworked. I'm not sure if it is because players... Uh, like, if players uh, wanted Nadeo to rework it, or if Nadeo themselves were like, Oh yeah, nah, we kind of fucked it up, it was too easy. I have no idea. But, yeah. I think um, the update maps already came out, like, less than one year after Trickmania United was released. So it's, yeah, not a big difference. I think I touched again, did I? Amazing. How was Malle? It was uh, really good. It was hella fun. Alright, suck, and that should be it now, hopefully. Yes, point 37, very nice. And with that we finish the five bay maps. So let's go over to uh, Coast, which is another environment from Trackmania um, here, Trackmania, uh, 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 Trackmania Sunrise, which is a little bit of a resident sleeper environment to most, because this environment is hella slow. Like, it's definitely the slowest environment out of all Trackmania environments that exist. But uh, it's still kind of cool. It has its charm. And honestly, wait, I think... Didn't this map have a cut? I think you could cut the start, actually. I think you could go down like this. And then you could overwall and go into the finish. The question is, should we go for that? I kind of want to do it now. 
Now the... I think, he, I think it was like this, and then you just overwall here. Ha! <laughs> yeah, so Nadeo built 10 second maps, and they still had shortcuts. Like, bruh. <laughs> like, look at this. This map has one turn, and you can cut the turn. Like, Omega Lul. But yeah, we got it. Coast A1 in the pocket. Let's go to Coast A2, which is also very simple. But honestly, um, if you play those environments for the first time, um, these maps here were actually not that bad because, you know, like they are super simple and they uh, teach you the very basic physics, basically, like how much you need to turn to, like, uh, you know, go into one direction and stuff like that. It's kind of nice to learn it if you play it for the first time, and it's also kind of fun to maximize those maps because, uh, yeah, it's of course all about going full uh, YOLO precision for the one or two turns the maps have. So it's kind of cool for hunting. I think I even own some of the world records on those maps. On the snow environment at least. I think on this map here I actually also had it at some point. But I think it got beaten, but I'm not sure. But I also hear once again, suck, one turn, and there's the finish. And that's basically the map. <laughs> So I guess by now you all see why those maps got reworked. They were just too simple, even for white maps. Alright, coast A4. A little bit of a tunnel map here. Ooh. I think on this map I also hunted for the world record once. But it's been so long since I played those maps, it's crazy. But yeah, about the coast car, uh, yeah, as I said, it's really, really slow. Um, you can slide out with it if you steer too much, but it is actually pretty keyboard friendly. So keyboard players usually like this environment. And you are. I don't know what else you can say about coast. It's as I said, really slow. Like you probably either hate it or you love it. It's kind of one of those things. And, but most of the Trickmania players actually like it, that play Trickmania United. It's like one of those things that the, the more you play it, the better it gets. Mostly. Alright, that should be it now. Yes, 838. Zack. And let's go to the last coast map already, Coast A5. On this map, I'm pretty sure I still have the world record. I'm pretty sure. On this map, there was a trick, I remember. Instead of driving this turn, you can also just wall ride it, and it's enough for offer time. So. Yeah, once again, you can kind of cut one of the two turns this map has. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, and with that, we go over to Desert. Oh no, let's, you know what, let's go to Island, because Island is the third Trickmania Sunrise environment that we're still missing. So let's play that one. I think on this map I also have the world record, actually. At least I used to have it. I don't know if it got beaten, but I used to have it. Yeah, island is a tricky environment because um, the island car can slide out really, really easily. But sliding out always is bad. So not always though, but most of the time. So mostly you want to do like smooth steering to no slide around the turns, like this kind of. And yeah, that's basically how it works. So it's a lot about smooth steering, but sometimes you also have to react fast. And it's one of those environments which is really, really bad for keyboard most of the time. So. Yeah, <laughs> kind of good for wheel players. All right, Island A2, which is once again really simple. I think this one doesn't even really have a turn. Like this one is literally almost only a jump. Like you literally have this, and then we jump, and that's the map. <laughs> and there we go. Is it enough though? Yep. All right. A three. This car is like a strange combination of a Morse Silano and a Ferrari. Yeah, they definitely wanted to do like a, yeah, a sport car or like a hyper sport car with this. Kinda easy to see. Alright, got it once again. Very nice. Uh, A4. Which is also once again only one turn. And that's about it. So this this. And then you have to turn, and that's basically it. And yeah, there you. Let me actually show it to you um, how it looks like when you slide out in, with the island car, because it's really something you want to avoid. So if I steer too much here, the car will slide like this, and it's usually most of the time it's slower. I still, 
I still got the AT with it for some reason. But let me, uh, let's compare it with a normal no slide. So that you see how much faster a no slide is. So zack, you smooth steer. And yeah, you just keep a lot more speed and yeah. That's basically the, the, the only thing you need to watch out for on island. Like, this whole environment is about no sliding. So you kind of see why, oop, why keyboard is so good, uh, why keyboard is so bad on it and wheel is really good here. Alright, can I now, like, uh, maybe get the turn? That would be amazing. Nope, I still can't get it. Amazing. Smooth steer into the wall. Yeah, optimally, uh, you just smooth steer without into the wall. Oh, zack, there you go. I first of all have to get used to the environment again. <laughs> How much I need to steer uh, without sliding out. But you saw I improved by, like, uh, 0.3 only because of the no slide in one turn. So if you see that over a whole one minute map, for example, Sliding versus not sliding is a big difference. Alright, Island A... Uh, Island. <laughs> Island A5. Which is a jump. With a camera! Wicked! Way too dank. Alright. And that's about it again. And we got it. Very nice. Okay. And with that we finished the, uh, the United maps from Trackmania United. From the Sunrise games. Now we still have the original uh, environments, of course. Which is uh, Desert, Rally and Snow. And yeah, Desert, uh, yeah, one of the very first environments with a way too dank soundtrack. This soundtrack is actually good. <laughs> do, 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 do. Alright, uh, I have to make the music a little more, a little bit more quiet though. Do, do. The thing about Desert is, um, it is actually faster to tap. So while you drive those kind of turns, where you, uh, like, okay, basically, um, two things about Desert. First of all, um, whenever you can, you wanna keep your two wheels on the ground, like I do right here, you see? And you wanna avoid driving like this, basically, because it usually slows you down. And um, the fastest way to drive those kind of turns is um, to actually not fully smooth steer, but to, uh, yeah, to tap. So this is actually a very keyboard-friendly environment. So, uh, yeah, exactly. That's what's the most important thing about Desert. But yeah, since I play with wheel and I cannot really tap, uh, we're just gonna ignore that and I'm just gonna smooth steer and easy peasy. And what is that awful metal though? Bro. Uh, no, Hunter. That was an old fun team we had for, uh, for a United League that I used to play. Alright, Hylus once again was a little bit cracked with that AT here, but we got it. 917, very nice. Alright, A2. Let's see what we have here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, the sound is so good, man. Also, it's really weird for me because I'm still playing in 4 3 now, and usually I used to play Trickmania United in Dong in 16 to 9. Uh, yeah, in 16 to 9. So I have a different uh, aspect ratio now, but it should be fine. Dude, what is that AT man? 942 Hylus, Hylus Giga cracked again. Okay. Zack. Oh, I almost hit the top. Oh, is that enough? And <laughs> also, are you? Do you hear that crashing sound? The dong. It's so loud, man. Oh, we gotta do Alright, A2 in the pocket. We go to A3. Which is, once again, literally only one turn. Try tapping. Yeah, nee. With wheel? With wheel it would look like this. And that's not too, uh, yeah, not too healthy. For me, neither for me nor for the wheel. But it's enough for AT. <laughs> Alright, so A4. <laughs> Okay, what was this about again? A downhill. And... Yeah, nothing else. A downhill. <laughs> Alright, that's probably not enough though. It is? Huh? Okay. So this one was really easy again. Alright, well then. Only A5 left. Let's see what we have here. This looks a little bit more complex. But complex in... Uh, yeah. Ugh. 
Okay, it's not very complex. It, but at least it has three turns instead of two. That's that's an upgrade. All right, and we got it. Very good. All right, the next uh, on the list is uh, Rally or Snow, which is environment number two from the Trackmania original game, from the very first Trackmania, basically. And uh, yeah, this environment is a lot about smooth steering. Like, you basically never ever want to full steer with this car. Like, literally, never ever. You always want to smooth steer. Like, you basically never have to steer more than like 50% or so. So, this is uh, by far the most keyboard unfriendly environment in Trickmania. And I think, wait, actually, I think this map has a cut. Let me, let me wait, I, was it? Was it faster? Ah! Wait, wait, that, wait, 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 that's faster. So if action keys existed back in this game, you would have to use it as a keyboard player. Otherwise, you would be fucked. Cut, cut, cut. Ah! Cut. There you go. Easy. So yeah, another 10 second map, which Nadeo managed to, uh, yeah, build a cut in. And Rally A2. On this one, I'm pretty sure I have the world record. I'm pretty, pretty sure I have it. Alright, that was kind of smooth. 832 should be enough. On those maps, um, the ATs usually are really easy, at least when you play with an analog device. Because they were all driven um, with keyboard. So they are really, really easy to beat. And another map that has a shortcut, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one also has a cut. Let's first of all drive normal. So once again, a map which has effectively two turns. And Joanna Deo managed to put a cut in here. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> So I think it was possible to cut directly towards the finish, but I'm not sure. But I think it was actually kind of difficult here. Yeah! yeah, something like this, but without jumping 10 million blocks high. I want to get it as well. Just watch and learn, guys. Watch and learn. Ah, okay, maybe not. Was the cut possible? I'm not sure though. But I think it was. But I'm not exactly sure how it worked. Because, yeah, this hill here is a little bit in the way. I don't know. Let's give it a few attempts at least. We have time. We're not gonna finish the entire game today anyway. We're probably gonna need four days or so to completely finish it because there's just so much stuff to do. So, uh, yeah. I don't even need to hurry at all. Oh, but look how slow my ghost is. It's surely possible. Surely, surely, surely. Zack. Also, the rally soundtrack. Kinda, kinda pock. Ah! Nee! Fuck. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Am I playing all the games in order? Yes. So I did already play uh, three games, or four kind of. Ah. Can't you bug Finn? Um, I think. I mean, the, uh, the, like, back finish definitely exists in Rally, but not on this kind of finish, I think. I think for this kind of finish, it's not possible. WR only jumps into finish later. Okay. Hmm. So, WR is actually not doing what I'm trying to do. Or what? Yeah. Okay, maybe it doesn't work then, but yeah. Doesn't matter. We still got the AT, so let's go to A4. Alright, what was this again? Ooh. <laughs> Hit a nipple, amazing. Uh, no, I will not play Shoot Mania. Not a Track Mania game. Alright, 920, it's gold only. Okay, okay. Nadeo 904? Okay, Nadeo. Wanna challenge me or what? Oh, okay, that should be it. <laughs> and zack, 893. Easy peasy. Zack, 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 and we only have A5, but A5 has a shortcut. So the thing about um, Rally A5 is, I think... Um, so basically, uh, in Trackmania Original, if you guys remember. We already had the rally environment, right? And in the rally environment, um, when you fell into water in Trackmania Original, um, you basically 
were just dead. Like, you had to reset or respawn because you could not continue driving. But uh, for this game, they updated it in a way that you can drive underwater. And as you can see, you're even actually really fast underwater. Like, you can go super vroom, you know? And because of that, um, some of the maps, uh, some of the older maps have, uh, has co have gotten shortcuts. And I think in Trackmania United, so not United Forever, but United, which this map comes from, um, that was still the case with the water, so you still uh, weren't allowed to go into the water. But uh, for the Forever update then, they fixed this, and now you basically can go through water, and that's why you can just go straight to the finish here. And that's about it. That's the cut. <laughs> I think it, I at least think it's this way, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we got it. Rally is done. So we only have snow and stadium left. And we're gonna start with snow. Which is the very last environment from Trackmania uh, original. And also, overall, my favorite Trackmania environment. I really like snow. Because, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, what can you say about snow? It's a very momentum-based environment. So, uh, it's a lot about keeping as much speed through the entire map as possible, because um, the snow car, as you can see here, has a really slow acceleration, like, it takes ages, and without boosters you're ne never ever getting fast, kind of. So it's a lot about uh, keeping the speed as high up as possible. And additionally, um, one feature of snow are uh, land bugs. So basically, for every single jump that you have in snow, you can get certain amount, like certain kind of landing bugs. But the thing about the landing bugs is um, that you can basically avoid them with landing in certain positions, and uh, that's actually nothing which uh, requires luck. It's something that requires skill most of the time. So avoiding land bugs is actually one of the most important skills for this environment. Which sounds stupid, but it's kind of cool. I don't know if we can see it on one of those maps here because they don't really have jumps. But that's basically all you have to know about snow. And then the car itself is really sensitive, like you can... Like, just see, if I play with keyboard, I can go zack, 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 zack. So, uh, wheel once again really helps to be precise for it. And, yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah, also in order to keep as much speed as possible, you usually want to avoid very rapid steering movements, so... You want to avoid steering as much as possible, kind of, and yeah. That's basically all there is to say. Alright, now snow A4. Which is an ice map. Because ice actually existed before Trackmania 2020. And also in this game here, I didn't really like ice. Um, ice is not how you uh, know it from Trackmania 2020 here. It's basically entirely different. Like, it's just ice. Like, it's actually IRL ice. Like, you can spin and you cannot really steer. And yeah, that's all about it. But there is actually a trickster about ice. Um, you can... Wait, let me actually try to give you a comparison. So you can, of course, go straight and just drive over it and then go into the finish. But um, there is a trickster of going sidewards, or like almost 90 degree. So you could call it an ice slide and you actually accelerate a little bit faster. Like you see, I gained a little bit of time. It's not a lot, but it's honest work. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically all there is to know about snow or ice. But yeah, we got it. So we go to Snow A5 and on Snow A5, I'm very sure that I still have the world record. Because, yeah, very wheel friendly precision map here. You just go suck and suck and suck. And that is the map. <laughs> Not too complicated. I think the world record is the 75. 75. 75 is, I think, um, the world record that I have here. And before, people uh, used to think that point, um, point 76 is absolutely maxed. I have 75, which is kind of popular. Alright, but I'm not gonna hunt for that now. We finished snow, and with that we only have five more maps left until we finally can start with the actual campaign. And which are uh, the five stadium maps. So you all know stadium. Uh, yeah, basically the same as it was in Nations Forever. Nothing has changed here. Uh, yeah, first map here. We of course have the beautiful skin here. Look at this. Look at the sticker at the back. Isn't it beautiful? I think it is. Uh, yeah, also those maps here, really, really simple, were way too easy, had to get reworked, and yeah. So let's quickly rush through them, and then uh, we can finally go into the actual campaign. Computing shadows, yeah, nice, perfect. Next one. 
Yep, Cox Racing back at the track. Gut. Zack. Zack. There you go. 9.44. Surely enough. Hell yeah. Alright, then a 3. What is the difference between this and the actual campaign? So basically, um, those maps that I'm playing right now are the white maps from Trackmania United. And for the Trackmania United Forever update, um, all of the white maps got reworked because they are too easy. Like you see, they are all below 10 seconds, they only have one or two turns, maybe one or two jumps, and that's it. So they, even for the white maps, they were too easy and they got reworked. And you're gonna see the reworked versions later. They are basically... Basically, the reworked versions are exactly those maps, but uh, made a little bit longer and more difficult. You will see the comparison later. Alright, then, Stadium A4. Uh, <laughs> kind of an interesting map, because it only consists of a looping. And that looping is uh, cuttable, <laughs> which is really stupid. And yo, V team. Hello, hello. Dude, that takes hella long. Why does it take so long to compute shadows? Oh my god. Okay. Resident sleeper. What we gotta wait? Has Raysan's replied to my message that I sent? Actually, good question. Let me see. No, he didn't. Scheiße. Man, Hans. Hans is not reading my messages. Yeah, now you see what kind of guy Hans is. He's I spent him 69 coppers and like he's not even answering. Man, man, man. Dude, this takes so long. Holy shit. What is this loading time, man? Bruh. Oh my god. This will take ages for like uh, more complex maps. Or, I mean, I could also just cancel it, but then it looks shit. So that's not too good. Huh? It, uh, it moved back. Did you see that? Hello. Dude, what on earth? Alright, we are on the map, finally, after one minute of waiting for a 10 second map, not even, 7 seconds actually. Oh yeah, all we have here is a looping. And that's all about it. <laughs> and yeah, this map has a shortcut actually, because it is possible to do an overwall here on the left. And yeah, if you get it, then uh, you can just cut into the finish directly. I kinda wanna get it now. I have no idea how it exactly is supposed to look like, but I want to get it. So we surely can. Ah! Yeah. But we have to be quick. Ah! That was too slow. Shit. But kind of like this. Kind of like this. Scheiße. So I'm uh, not exactly good at overballing. Didn't watch enough of uh, virtual. I'm, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get over the wall. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha! Oh. Fuck. Too slow. Man. I wanna get it. Oh, this, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, again. Hello. Man. I'm getting like slowed down so much from the overwall. Scheiße. Okay, I'm gonna give it five more attempts, otherwise I'm annoyed already. One. Can't you backfin? Uh, no. Not when the finish is placed on the ground like this. Ah. Give it to me. Ah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Zack. There you go. Shortcut. <laughs> Nice. I think the world record here, like the TAS world record, is actually doing like uh, some sort of nose bug into a nose uh, boost into like finish or something. Like it's hella wicked. But yeah, we got it. And with that, uh, no, we still have A5. Okay. <laughs> so let's do A5 real quick. This time, luckily, not that long of loading time. And then it's finally time to hop into the actual campaign, guys. Alright, what do we have here? Stadium A5. Also, OST check, by the way. I don't know, is it the same as in Nations? I think it is, but I'm not entirely sure. But kind of a cool one. I kind of like this one. And yo, Snow Eater with the three month reserve. Thanks a lot, man. Alright, suck and suck and finito. And that's the entire. Yeah, the entire uh, white campaign of Trackmania United, which, uh, yeah, as I said, got reworked because they all were too easy. 
and because of that then they later introduced the forever update with an entirely new white series and this is how it looks like um it's kind of messed up of course now because i already have the ats here because i did already play them back in the days but we're still gonna uh, try to beat them and yeah at least for the later maps i still didn't play most of them so yeah should be fine so let's hop into the actual campaign now, the actual United Race campaign, and we're going to start with Stadium A1. So once again, we have five maps per uh, environment, and now you already see offer time 22 seconds um, is a bit longer than what we used to have before, which is pretty good because the maps from United just were too easy. All right, so Grenady versus offer time here, Cox Racing versus Egypt, <laughs> and yeah. Stadium A1. Not too complicated of a map. I think it only has like a few drops here and that's kind of it. Zack and zack and there's the finish already. Not as special as the A1 from Trackmania Nations Forever. That's for sure. Like this map is kind of simple. It doesn't really have any big tricksters. But yeah, still kind of a cool map. So time for Stadium A2. We have to beat an 1886. Okay. Oh, doesn't this map have the shortcut? I think this map has a shortcut. Let's first of all the normal route. It's like to go here, and then you just go up. I land bucked. So this is the normal route, but I think I think there was a shortcut, but I'm not entirely sure how to do it. There was a bug slide, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, where is it though? Is it here? Yeah, here you wanna go very far left and then you can backslide. Not like this though, you wanna land way earlier. I'm not sure how difficult it is, but I think it's actually quite hard. So I think I will not be able to do it. Uh, nah. Nah, I think I cannot do it, but let's give it like two more attempts or so. Uh -huh. Dude, I'm not getting the angle at all. It isn't like super hard, but not free. Okay. Well, then it's probably too difficult for me now. Yeah, you want to backslide here optimally, and then you just go up the hill, and you can just finish from behind, basically. That is the cut. All right, let's go to Stadium A3. Uh, is Trackmania United Stadium the same as Nations Forever Stadium? Um, I mean, driving-wise, yes, but the maps are different. Like, entirely different. Alright, A3. I think this one is... Yeah, this one is a little bit like the map we had uh, from Trackmania United, but basically made longer, if you guys remember. But also this one, not too difficult. Zack, zack, and finish. So just a little bit of precise driving here, and that is basically it already. Okay, wait, I have 124,000 official points here. I'm 37th in the world on this map. Hella wicked. Hella wicked. Way too dank. <laughs> well, let's go to Stadium A4, which is, I think, actually somewhat difficult, but I'm not sure. And yo, Star Root. Uh, yes, I did. Was pretty nice. I was about this map again. I think it was possible to side jump or stuff, some stuff. This map is kind of similar to that one map from Nations Forever. Wait, I lost speed at the landing. Where did my speed go? Hello. Where did my speed... Oh, pole. Yeah, amazing. Alright, let's go again. Wait, we didn't get a T... Wait, oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to A2 then. Oh, and that's so con- I land bugged! Hello! Oh, dude. Trackmania Stadium before TM2 was just... Ugh. Most of the time. Okay, can I like not land bug for once? That would be giga amazing. Yay! Woo! Alright. Should be enough now. Zack, zack. Zack, zack. And there we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so let's go back to A2 and get that AT. <laughs> because I kinda scammed you guys, yeah, happens, happens. Oh, 
What is the line in this story again? It's obviously not what I just did, because that was really bad. Oh, come here, Nadeo. Yeah, sniped. Zack. Alright, there you have it, guys. Okay. Uh, so we played A4, so now it's time for A5. And we have to compute shadows. Yay! Dude, it's jumping back all of the time. What is this? Do you see that? Zack. Bro. I'm getting scammed by the sh by the shadow compute. Wait, what is the verb? Shadow comp uh, this. What is the noun? Computation? I have no idea. Dude, it takes so long sometimes. Alright, Stadium A5. What was this again? I think it has a grass part here. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this one. Wait, didn't this one have a shortcut as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're gonna shortcut this. But before we do that, let's first of all get the AT the normal way. Zack. Are we gonna do a shortcut now? Watch and learn, guys. Watch and learn. FWO Grenady is gonna show you how it's done again. So, Zack. First of all, of course, tight turn here. Oh, that was too tight. That was a little too tight, I touched. Yeah, I mean, I'm also not playing on the highest resolution now, because, yeah, already by the 4 to 3 aspect ratio, of course, losing a little bit of quality. Yeah, 2020, uh, of course, looks way better. Alright, so we jump here, we go here, I think I was, uh, and then kind of like this. Nah. <laughs> and optimally, you go into the finish, not next to it. It's usually uh, a little bit better. Yo, see ya, Krani. Alright, let's, let's try it again. So we jump like here, roughly. Because I think we have to go outside of the palm trees. Yeah, we go this, and then we go this, and... Then we... Kinda wanna hit the gap, and not the pole. Alright, now I'm gonna make it. Not gonna fail that again. That is for sure. So, it's suck. It's suck. And now, we jump here, then here. Ah, Paul! Man! Why are there so many obstacles? Feels like Nadeo doesn't even want to have cuts on their maps. Weird champ. Man! <laughs> There's too much stuff. But also, I didn't play so far today, so it's like the first time playing since, uh... Yeah, I went on vacation, so you cannot blame me, guys. I need warm-up. And I need a lot of it. Alright, suck. Zack, zack, and there you go. That's the shortcut. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Wait, what? On the next map, Island A1, you have to get gold and not AT since gold is faster. Wait, are you serious? Wait, that's the wrong map. I went to A2. Dude, am I stupid? Wait, is it A Huh? What is this? Wait, Nadeo medal 1620? Gold medal 1617? Dude, I've never seen that. I didn't know that. Heh. <laughs> Nadeo, what is this? But, okay, but what happens now if you drive when you drive a 1618 uh, or 19? Or 20? What happens then? Do you get like... Like, heh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lul. <laughs> this map also is uh, hella wicked actually because it actually uh, has a bug slide. Which is way too dank, so I'm definitely not gonna do that. I mean, I'm of course gonna try. Oh. That was easy. <laughs> easy. Dude, bug slide meister. There you go. Alright, we got the gold medal and with that also the AT. Very nice. And good. Good, good, good. So yeah, world record here is uh, 1349, at least the official world record. And yeah, that one is with a backslide, which is way too dank. But yeah, uh, let's go to Island A2, which might also be familiar to some of you guys, because uh, yeah, it's kind of like the one map we had uh, in the United maps. But uh, made a little bit longer. So I think you had to release here, yeah. So yeah, this is the map with the jump into the finish. I think it was possible, wait. Oh, the, the 
aim was so good. Okay, so one thing, one thing about the island uh, finish, guys. One thing about the island finish. Wait, before you kek, before you kek, listen. So, this is the finish. And usually, when you jump straight, you have to be below this uh, red things here. But it's possible to jump through this gap here and finish a little bit further up top. And so you can like basically you don't have to release as much. So uh, let's try it out. Okay, small release. Cool. Amazing. Wait, we have a raid by the Lars guy. Yo, Poggers. Yo, thanks a lot, Lars. And hello, everyone. I just came back from vacation yesterday and continuing my project where I play through all of the old track mini games now. Alright, where do I have to aim though? Like here? I really. Ah! Huh? <gasps> huh? Wait, how did that work? How did I finish? Huh? Huh? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, how did I even finish? What was that? Huh? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait a second. Huh? How did I finish that? Wait. Yeah, replay is valid, nice. How did I finish that? But yo, uh, Lars, thanks a lot for the raid. And hello everyone. Wait, what was that finish? I have never seen an island finish like this. Eh? I know bug fins are a thing, but not like this. I mean... Uh, huh? Why did I bug finish here? I wanted to aim for this gap. But well, how did I... Is it because I went a little bit into the pole? I'm super confused, but uh, yeah, I take it, I guess. What is actually what is actually the world record on that map? Island A2, it's 1820. That's fast. I only drove a 37, okay. Solid time then. Well, yeah, let's go to the next map, which is Island A3. Ah, okay, Lars, I didn't know that. Good to know, good to know. And also, uh, Potato Head, thanks for the 18-month free sub. All right. Oh, camera one. Uh, camera one. I think it was uh, the fastest way to do like a drift cancel here. No slide like this. Yeah, we got it. 1916. Very nice. Next one, Island A4. Which is also uh, similar to that one map we played. But uh, yeah, just a little bit longer. So remember that one, um, that one United map, which basically only was this tunnel turn. It's kind of the same here, but a little bit longer. And I think you can... Ah! I think it is possible to do a bug slide here as well. But I'm not exactly... Or a TP slide? Okay. I don't know how the TP slides works, though. So we're not gonna go for the TP slide. Let me, let me just try a normal bug slide and see if it's fast enough. If I hit it nicely. Ah! I slid. But you can basically bug slide here. And you can do... Uh, yeah. Like this, into the finish. Could even be a, could it could be fast enough actually. Wait, what is the wait? What is the AT even? I'm not even sure. Yavolo. Twenty twenty eight. Wait, did I beat that? Okay, I'm not sure. Let's just beat it again. We're just gonna beat it again to see that I'm worthy, and everybody will be happy. So zack. And now box Lloyd. Nein! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Man! I'm not sure if I drove the 1951 just now or if uh, if that was my PB from uh, back in the days. I don't know, honestly. Alright, we'll just go again. Dude, Cam 1 is so weird, man. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Huh? Okay, I have no idea what just happened, but okay. There was a TP slide. How do how do they even work? What do I need to do the, with the TP slide things? I never tried them, and usually it never was necessary until uh, Kimura went into this environment. <laughs> ah, okay, that was kind of shit, but it's fast enough. <laughs> All right, but we got it though. Island A4, very nice. So we go to A5, which I wait. What is? <laughs> Wait, this map. First of all, look how many official points I have. 287,000. Your boy is top 17 here. Way to dank. And this map, um, this map has a shortcut. And um, I I'm just going to show you the map. And you guys can guess where the shortcut is. 
It's like you will probably not really uh You will probably not really see it. Ah! I got a bug. Alright, so just one turn. Another turn. And you have to jump. So you may wonder like, huh? Where the fuck can I shortcut here? I can try to show it to you, but I'm not sure if I can do it, to be honest. But I will try. So the first two turns, of course, uh, no slide, smooth steer. And then you can go to the left of this ramp here, bounce up and land on this road and basically um, reduce airtime by a lot. I can give it a few attempts, but I'm not sure if I can get it because it's very precise. Are we going to try? Alright, already hitting this gap here is like, yeah, way too dank. And you of course have to land uh, smooth, like not on your wheel, uh, not on your roof, you want to land like on your wheels. To like, continue driving, obviously. Alright, suck. Suck. Ah! Missed the gap, scheiße. Also, why is the music so loud, actually? Alright, a little better. Let's give it three more attempts, maybe. I think Starroot even has the world record here, who was in the chat earlier. I don't know if he's still here. But he has the world record. And I was act ah! Oh, close, close, close. And I was actually there when this cut was found. Like, when I drove my official time here, I think it was like top 3 world or something. I was like one of the first to do it back in the days. I remember. Then there was a big uh, WR battle on this map between Techno and Riolu, which was <laughs> a little bit XTD, when you think about it nowadays. But yeah, kinda interesting. Alright, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, <laughs> works, I guess. Oh, look how close I was to the wall. But yeah, that's kind of how the cut works without uh, sliding on the roof optimally. All right, with that, we finished island wide. Now it's time to go to a desert, which is, uh, yeah, not my most favorite environment. I mean, I like it, but I'm not good at it. But that's mainly because of uh, wheel just not being good at it, because as I explained to you earlier, um, usually for these kind of turns you want to always uh, drive on two wheels, and you also want to, um, yeah, you, you also want to uh, tap the steering actually, because you keep a little bit more speed, because you have like a little bit more grip. Just don't question it, just accept it. So wheel on desert, mostly rather bad actually. So yeah, mostly just, co just gonna uh, rush through the maps here. Ah, fuck. And yo, Nanobot with the nine month resub. Thanks a lot, man. Five minutes ago already. I kinda missed it. Sorry. So, yeah, usually you just wanna go like tap, 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 because you just keep more grip. And if you watch uh, world records on desert maps, people are always tapping pretty much. Which works for pad and for keyboard, but for wheel it's just, yeah, not really viable. Alright, A2, got it. We go to A3, which is also very similar to that one map we had before with the, uh, yeah, with this U-turn tube thingy. Bobsley, you could almost call it. But a little bit longer again. Wait, Nadeo? Nadeo, come here. I'm gonna hunt your yellow booty, Nadeo. Ah, zack, sniped. So yeah, also in those turns here, if you are really fast, it's faster to just go like slide on the top. But if you're a little bit slower, like on this map, it's you can also just uh, no slide those things basically. Which is why I overtook uh, the Nadeo medal there. But got it, A3 in the pocket, so we go to A4. And this map, this map has a way too dank shortcut. It's it's super it's super crazy. I probably cannot do it because it's too difficult. But it's I'm gonna show you the world record. So this is the regular map, kind of a full speed map you could say, really short, nothing really happening. This is how it looks like. Let me show you uh, what the world record does. The cut is kind of obvious if you take a look at the layout, there's only like one possibility to cut here. And it's really really cool. So let me uh, quickly get onto YouTube. Uh, zack.
Desert A4 and hallo hallo YouTube Desert A4 all right uh when do we have it uh, okay, I'm not sure if this is the current actual world record, but uh, this works to show you the cut. So this is how it looks like. So you have to start, and then you basically cut straight to the finish, like this, with a bounce. Zack, zack, and perfectly continue driving. That's how it looks like. I'm not sure how difficult it is, probably not super omega difficult to be faster with it, but to getting it clean, it's kind of tough. We also actually have a task here by Delete Club, let's quickly check that one out. But it's way too dank. They basically use the the fact that the desert car like uh, tilts to ha to get a uh, to get a nice landing on the edge to bounce up. It's like way too dank. You know what? Uh, let's just let's give it let's give it a few attempts ourselves. Because why not? So we go here and then you just go tuck and you have to land with the side on the edge to bounce up. But yeah, I never tried to cut myself because yeah, I'm not really into cuts like this. Uh, but kind of like this you have to but you have to literally land perfect to get the height out of it Because it's not only you have to bounce a distance. You also have to bounce up actually uh, so yeah, Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> it's probably still a little bit too difficult for me But yeah, a5 now uh, Last desert map for the white series mm, 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 mm. I think here yeah here you want to break a little to get an earlier landing or like to not have airtime at all and yeah, then you basically only have a jump, which can still be quite difficult, as you can see, even for professional Dragmania players. Fuck. So tuck, no slide, touch the wall, doesn't matter, in between the pillars for the flex, and finish. Easy. Tuck, there you go. 1849, very nice. Okay, uh, desert done. So we have uh, the first 15 maps over, but we still have another 20, and that's only the white series. So it just takes ages, man. It takes ages. All right, rally a one, which is also a little bit similar to that other rally map we had from um, Trackmania United from the old maps, but also uh, yeah, prolonged a little. So you now have a little bit more stuff to do here, but still, kind of a simple map. And as I said, uh, this environment is really, really uh, analog focused, so you always have to smooth steer. So yeah, since the offer medals are driven with keyboard, they are really, really, really easy to build most of the time. Alright, next one, Ready A2. Zack, 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 then. You also always have those nice castle parts here. I think I just touched the wall, it doesn't matter. Valley is a really beautiful environment. I touched the wall twice and I still have it. Omega Lul. <laughs> XDD, but we got it. Alright, Rally A2, Rally A3 now. Which is also, uh, you also, like, pay attention to the start. This is like exactly the map uh, from Trickmania United. But uh, it continues a little. So here would be the finish normally, but now you have uh, yeah, a little bit of a road part here. And yeah. Then the finish is over here. So basically, for the uh, updated versions, they mostly just took the old maps and put something onto them to make them a little bit longer. Okay, Rally A4. Oh, top 16 in the world here. Grenady, good job. <laughs> I think this map also had a shortcut, actually. Let me quickly see. If it was, if it's the map that I'm thinking about. So the normal route would be, to, yeah, yeah, okay, this is the one. So this is the normal route here, but you can basically skip the big jump by, uh, yeah, just going to the side a little earlier. Let me, let me show it to you. We got the AT already, but I'm gonna show you uh, the shortcut because this one is pretty easy. So you go here, then you drop, and then from here you just jump down here. Great. Alright. Yeah. Let's try that again because that was not very satisfying. So we go tuck, tuck, then we drop. Then we drop. And yeah, you just reduce your airtime a little bit more, have a little bit more speed. You know the deal. And that's basically it. 
Very nice, very nice, very nice. You actually keep a lot more speed, I just noticed. Actually a big difference. But yeah, okay, uh, now rally A5. Oh, this map also uh, has a shortcut actually, which is kind of stupid. So, the normal route would be to just go here, follow the path basically. But that's not the fastest thing you can do here, which might sound weird, but you will see. Uh, then just a little bit of a resident sleeper grass part here, because on grass... Yeah, it's a bit, little bit like gra uh, penalty grass in uh, Trackmania 2020, because you are really, really slow on it. But now, uh, let me show you the cut. So instead of taking the path here, you just go here, and then you go here, and you just use the fact that you now can drive underwater, and then you optimally go into the checkpoint. And if you do all of that uh, nicely, you are gonna gain quite a bit actually. So zack, oh I hit a bump, shit. Okay, that was, yeah, wow. I made, I managed to do the cut in a way that it only saved 300. Great, let's do that better. <laughs> XTD man. Okay, zack. There also uh, camp 3, not really an option for underwater. But yeah, now you see it. Doesn't gain that much because you take a longer route, but... It does gain a little bit, so definitely want to do it. Oh, yeah, amazing. So yeah, that's how the cut works. Not too complicated, honestly, not too complicated. Okay, Rally A5, so we uh, can go to Bay now. So yeah, let's uh, check out the white Bay maps here. What do we have to do here? I think I never really played this map. Although it's kind of a precision map, I always hated it. Like, it's only this turn, but for some reason, I always disliked it. I think, actually, I think, actually, there was a new trick recently found here, which can help you to reduce airtime for the finish jump by hitting a lamp pole from underneath. Let me, let me try that. I think it's too difficult, but we can try. They are mainly about this environment, or, like, about this map, I mean. You just want to keep as much speed as possible through this turn here. By go taking like a smooth line. If you get it, you can like yeah, somehow hit this lantern from underneath and then reduce airtime. It's way too dank. But yeah, nothing I can really do right now without trying it for a little bit more. Alright, A2. Also very similar to that one um, to the one regular United map. Oh, and also this one has a has an interesting trick. Which I'm not sure if I can show it though. I don't know. But this one also has a really, really cool trickster. Okay, first of all, AT, of course, in the pocket. Zack, zack, zack. Yeah, of course, in the start here also, uh, wanna reduce airtime. And then, if you did it nicely, it was possible to hit the wall here, and it pushes you down a little, and then you have a little bit of an earlier landing, and you keep a bit more speed. It's saving a few hundreds at most, but it's kinda cool. And yo, Bobux, hello, hello. Alright, now Bay A3, also a United map, but just uh, made a little bit longer. So instead of having the finish over here, they yeah, basically put a bit more onto the map to make it like more than twice as long. Which was a good decision. So I just go zack, and that's kind of it. Also still rather simple, but kind of a cool precision map. Okay, Bay A4, also an interesting map because this one also has, um, uh, yeah, kind of a unique trick, or it's not really a cut, but yeah, a trick is kind of the right word. Ma this one I should be able to show to you. So the map itself is rather simple, just have like a few simple turns, 90 degree turns and nothing else. But um, there is the possibility to side jump the first jump. So you can just jump something like this, and if you get a clean landing, you're gonna keep a little bit more speed. So this now was apparently not that clean, because I was slower. But if you get it nicely, and don't flip like this, you can gain a little bit of speed. Ugh. I remember I hunted this back in the days when this was found, when I was like 13 or 14 years old. I'm not sure if I can do it now. But it's possible possible. Yeah, come on, this really is weird. I don't know why it is so, like, it feels like driving drunk. I don't know. It's super weird because the camera is so dynamic. Ah! Come on, I wanna, I really wanna show that this works. 
Ah, maybe? Ah, shit. Yeah, not like this, though. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, what am I doing? I'm just flipping. We're not in stunt mode yet. Stunt mode is coming later. Ah, maybe? That could work. Yeah, suck. And it was slower. Amazing. Okay, let me let me give it three more tries or so. But technically, if you get it really nice, you can save like two times or so with it. Ah, man, it doesn't work. Please. Just work. Okay, it doesn't want to work, but... Technically, it does work, if you get it good, but it's tricky. Okay, Bay A5. Oh, this map is really, really interesting. I'm gonna show you the normal route here, but uh, let me just tell you that we're not really gonna use the normal route here. <laughs> so the regular route is, uh, yeah, driving through the, the shopping area here, through the buildings, which is actually really cool. I li really like this aspect about Bay. And then you just have to finish over here. So you may wonder, like, huh? What can you do different here? Um, yeah, the yeah, the whole map basically. So instead of going to the right, we go here. We go here, we go here. And we cruise on the outside a little. Then you have to release here a little to get around the corner. And then uh, you basically go to the finish uh, from behind. So the strat was to go here, then it was like a little bit precise here, and if you get the bounce, you're gonna bounce into the finish from behind. And with that, you can be faster, which is really stupid, like it's... You basically take an entirely different route, but it's faster. It shouldn't be too difficult to uh, improve my time with it, so we're gonna go for it. So it's suck to turn here, of course, wanna keep as much speed as possible. And then suck, and then suck, and... And then you bounce over the finish. Amazing. But I kind of like this. Kind of like this. I'm not... Wait, isn't there even... Wait, I think there even is um, a different way to approach the finish. But I'm not sure. But let me let me go camp 7. You can also see it from camp 7 really nicely. So instead of taking this route here, you just take it like this. You already see that it's shorter. I think it was possible to also drive here and finish like this. But that was more difficult, I think, so we're not gonna try that. And Funai with the three-month resub and saying something really important, true. It is actually September, ladies and gentlemen. Which means that for you guys, uh, gifting subs and also uh, subbing yourself is cheaper. I think it costs... Uh, I don't know how much cheaper it is, though. Ah, there you go. Shortcut, very nice. FWO, invite me, please. Thank you. So you guys can sub for a cheaper price, but I still get the same amount of money, so... Good month uh, to support me, if you feel like it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we finished Bay, so we now we only have Coast and Stadium left. Until we only finished the White Series. Like, there's so much, there's so many maps here, it's crazy. Alright, this map again. And um, this map, once again, is shortcutable. So you already remember this from Trickmania United. There the finish basically was over here. But now they made the map a little longer, but the exact same shortcut still works. Which is stupid, but that's how it is. So let me show it to you. You can basically go backwards here. You go here. And then you go over here, you over wall, and you continue driving like that. So you basically skip the first turn. But it's not as easy as it looks like. Maybe it also even looks difficult, I'm not sure. But it's not too easy to get over the wall. But I kinda wanna get it. Never really tried to cut myself, I just know that it exists. Oh. Yeah, kinda like this, but better, of course. It doesn't look too easy, okay, well done. Then it exactly is as difficult as it looks. Ah! Thing is, there are a lot of bushes that you can hit, of course, and... Yeah, obviously don't want that. Ah! I am. If you get it really clean, you can uh, just skip the first turn and easy peasy. Alright, Coast A2 now. It's a 20% discount, okay. So in Germany, instead of 4 euro, you are paying... Uh, <coughs> wait, what is 20% of uh, 4 euro? Wait, 10% is... wait, 40 cent? So you just pay uh, 320. If my math uh, is correct. Alright, A2, tuck, there you go.
Fuck, I missed my official time by 100. Actually, uh, something that I can explain because some of you might not even know. Um, this game has official uh, leaderboards, which you can always see when you are in game. So you can always see it at the top here. And in order to have your time being displayed at the official uh, leaderboard, it has to be driven in official mode. And to do a run in official mode, you have to pay coppers. And uh, it used to be, uh, I think, like 10 coppers or so, but uh, like one year ago, they actually reduced it to one coppers instead. So now you have to pay one coppers. I, for example, have 31,000, so I can do quite a few runs in order to uh, yeah, bring a run to the official game leaderboard. I never really understood why the fuck you need to pay coppers for that, which is the like the in-game currency. Like, why not just have a, yeah, a proper leaderboard? I don't know. Because now you can drive a world record in training mode, or like, without official mode, and it will not be displayed at the official leaderboard. Which is hella stupid. But yeah. This is how it looks like then, and if you PB, you get points. Uh, yeah, the skill points basically work the way they used to work for um, Trackmania 2020 as well. So you just uh, get points, like the more, the higher you are on the uh, list, the more points you get. And I think the way it works is um, the first place gets a certain amount of points according to the amount of um, official runs that have been done on the map. Then the second place gets one ha the half of it, third place gets one third, fourth place one fourth, etc. And yeah, that's how it works basically. And yeah, then you can just get put onto the leaderboard and yeah, that's basically it. Alright, coast A3 done, so we go to coast A4, which I actually have a lot of points on the leaderboard, 248,000 poggers. But I remember I hunted this map. Zack, zack. Ah, slide out, scheiße. Is it still enough? Easy. Yeah, Bobux. That's uh, basically it. <laughs> That's basically it. Okay. Coast A5. What do we have here? Ah! Let's slide out. Okay, can we still beat Nadeo? I'm not sure. We only have one turn left, I think. Okay, we can't. Unlucky. We have to go again. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, it is. Oh, I, how do you get coppers? That's of course a good question. Um, uh, well, I'm honestly not sure. I honestly don't know. I think it was by um, by getting medals in the game. In official mode, you get a few coppers. I think like 15 for gold, 10 for silver and 5 for uh, bronze or so. And then it's also uh, one thing that this uh, game offers is basically um, the Mania Links. And in the Mania Links, uh, it's basically like an own internet, basically. And yeah, trick an own Trickmania ecosystem. And here everybody can basically um, yeah, create their own Mania Links. And on those Mania Links, you can sell tracks and skins, etc. And this is how it looks like, for example, from this guy here, from uh, Adam. Welcome! I created this Mania Link a clear and simple for everyone. You will find various items. Thank you for visiting and have fun. <laughs> so yeah, then you can buy uh, horns, for example, and uh, maps, and also uh, skins, for example. So for uh, Let's actually buy a skin. You know what? Let's buy a skin. What should we buy? Mono wheel. <laughs> We're gonna buy a skin and the horn, guys, okay? But what, what should we what should we buy? Should we buy like a serious car like the the Königs Egg Agera, or should we buy some troll car? <laughs> it's kind of XTD. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh here, hyper speeder, <laughs> or from Wipeout, a Wipeout car. The most Pepega skin you can find. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, the thing is, um, there is like no real limit about those skins. Um, so there are certain skins which are like 10 million blocks wide and it's like a whole boat and you drive with a huge boat. I don't know if I can find one of those skins. Technically, it's by the way also stupid to buy skins uh, through those things because you can just download them. There is a website called uh, carpark.com, I think, where people just upload skins and you can download it from there. But I'm just gonna 
More hone card glass. Wicked. <laughs> Way to dank, man. But where are the troll skins? I don't want serious racing cars here. I want troll skins. Hello. Where is the troll stuff? Ah, it's all like regular stuff here. Oh, strange. <laughs> yeah, this. Wait, skateboard. Okay, that's kind of dank. All right, can you can you note down page twenty nine, please? Thank you. Page twenty nine, note it down. More glass cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no more troll stuff here. Scheiße. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna buy the uh, the mo the skateboard here. So there, you have to pay fifty five coppers in this case, of which three go to Nadeo, which makes no fucking sense because Nadeo just has infinite amount of coppers. I don't know why three of them go to Nadeo. Is this like IRL where uh, like a few of my taxes go to? Like, huh? Why why does Nadeo get coppers from that? Why don't they give everything to the Dom guy? That makes no sense, but okay. They just take their cut for no reason. Alright then. So then you download the skin and then you have it in your uh, things. To eliminate inflation, yeah, I see. Alright. Do we have an... Hello? Uh, do we have more stuff here? No, get me to the home. World. Here. Kripke's Mania Link. Do you guys know Kripke? Kripke also has stuff. What do we have here? Skins. Oh god. Okay, we have more... <laughs> Good. What else do we have here? Okay, not that more. Arm Army car. <laughs> ah, amazing. So let's just buy a few skins and we can use one for each uh, environment, okay? I think that's a good idea. Alright, what else do we have here? Uh, let's go to world again. Here, energy mania link. What do we have here? Oh god. Skins. Dude, it's getting more and more expensive. This guy wants 169 coppers, man. Dude, what is that price? Shit is expensive, man. No. I don't want serious cars. Okay, you know what? We can use one serious car. One serious car. But which one, though? I want I want to have a muscle car. Give me... Where, where, where are the muscle cars? I want a muscle car for the desert environment. We had some earlier. Oh. Wait. Download? <laughs> oh, why am I spending coppers for this? It's so stupid. But okay. Oh wait, here we had a muscle car. The Plymouth Cuda. It looks like a muscle car at least. Let's just take this one. But no, you know what? No. I'm not gonna support this energy guy. He is way too expensive. We're gonna go back to this guy. To Dom. This guy also had some muscle cars, right? Monster truck? Yeah, nee. Here. The GT. We're just gonna take this one. This one is not as expensive. Alright, I think we have enough skins. Uh, on, do, wait, do me, let, me, let me quickly see. How many do we have? <laughs> How many skins do we have? Um, profile vehicles. One, two, three, four, five. So we need... Two more skins. Two more skins, and then we're gonna buy some horns. <laughs> and I'm a little bit scared about the horns. Okay, well, anyway, let's first of all go to... Uh, we have to go to another one, though. Let's go to the... Uh, let's go to the energy guy again. He's expensive, but he has the best skins, honestly. My guy has the best skins. Okay. Did, did I buy the Sonic, guys? Did I buy the Sonic? I think I did, right? Let me... Let me... Wait, okay, I... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, oh, dude, it always goes back. Uh, so where's the Sonic guy? Here. <laughs> Bruh, this is so weird. We even have bikes. Okay, you know what? We're gonna take a bike. Zack, zack. And now we need one more. We need one more skin. All right. Let's go to the very back here. Zack, 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 zack. Yeah, a motorbike. Ah, we didn't have anything more here. Scheiße. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, wait. Let's go back to. Do we have anything else? Are there only three Mania Links in the entire world, or what? Bruh. Okay, let's go back to the Kripke guy. What did Kripke offer? Huh? Wait, what is that song? Hallo, Monkatos? Where is it? Hallo? Where is it? Hallo? Where is that song coming from? Why is there a song playing on Kripke's Mania Link? Bruh. I don't, dude, Monkatos? I don't know if that shit is copyrighted. Ah, fuck. Okay, ah, blah, blah, blah. No copyright here. Nothing to see. Nee, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what, what skin do we take, guys, quickly? Let's take the Armee car. The Armee car looks good. So, zack, Armee car, complete. And, yeah, nee, nee, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, so now the question, though. What horns do we have? Okay. Do we have four? Oh no. Dude, I cannot spend the whole stream by listening to. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Wait, what is the Hasma? I think he was. What is evil? <laughs> ah, okay, 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 okay. Skrillex. Okay, I don't know if that's copyrighted though. Engel. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of copyright, man. What is camping? Okay. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. What do we have here? What sounds interesting? Ice Age. Okay, that's. I, I thought they meant the, who the movie. Did XCD man. Loud! Oh god. That's not that loud. I got scammed, it's not that loud. I wait. But I, I, I have to get something that doesn't have copyright. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because otherwise I don't want the VOD to get muted. Dude, how many loud horns does this guy have? Wild. Very, very wild. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, I, I want this. I want Chaba Daba Daba Did you mention you play online? You have downloads enabled, and some guy behind you is coming like. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, uh, hmm. I kind of want this as well. <laughs> the thing is, we need seven different horns, guys. We need seven different horns. Let's also get the... the. Let's get the bar. And then we go to another remainder link. Let's see what Kripke has. What horns does Kripke have? I can't wait. Kripke's mania link. Does he even have horns? Yeah, horns. Ah, no, we have the music again, fuck. Okay, man, Kripke. 
I don't know if I can be on your mana link without uh, muting my VOD. Alright, we have to go. Nah. Nee, 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 nee. Let's go to the other guy, the expensive one. Here, the energy guy. He's scamming us, but maybe he has some nice horns. Wait, he barely has any. Well, he only has actual car horns. Except for this man. Dude, I'm. It's, bruh. Wait, did it, is there one that I didn't check yet for horns? No. Scheiße. Okay, so we have to get more from this guy here. Okay, wait, we need to get more from here. Horns. Mana, mana. Okay, guys, what, what what horn do we need? What horn? Fanfare? The thing is, this Krillex horn, I don't think it does not have copyright. So I'm not sure. Charge. Yeah, we take it. We take it. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's just take this as well. And then we need one more, I think. One or two more. The Chababa? Wait, which one was the Chababa? Chabababa? Where was that one? Uh, fuck, where was the Chabababa? Here? No. Ah! Yeah, fuck it, let's just... Wait, I already have it, man. I already bought that one. I forgot. Ah! I'm spending way too much time on getting horns. <laughs> <laughs> music. That's indeed music. Ach, man. What do we get, guys? <laughs> what do we get? Let's just get this. Fuck it. Let's just get this, and then we also get what's this? Okay, let's just get. I'm not sure if it has copyright, man. What is Eiffel? Where's Eiffel? I don't see it. Ah. Okay, we just take the Lamborghini. Fuck it. So. <laughs> let's now let's now add the horns and then we can finally continue. Man man man. Alright. Wait! I'm so stupid. Why did we buy seven different horns? We can only bind one horn. Can't we? Oh I'm so dumb. Nine ah We can only put one horn. Why did I buy seven? XDD. Ah here we have him. Okay, which one do we take now? Hallo, stop. Ba? Okay, we take Ba. Alright. Aya, wait, we have to apply our skin still. Uh, vehicles. So, American. I'm gonna take the, the this here. The Super Bock. The GT500. For Rally. What fits to Rally? Um... <laughs> it looks so dumb. <sighs> okay, snow car. We're gonna take the. We're gonna take the army car. We're gonna take Sonic for uh, island, because uh, fast. Coast. Coast gets. Coast gets the Pokeball. And Bay. Wait, what did we not apply yet? Okay, Stadium gets the skateboard. Nah, but Stadium we have Yepcox. Ah, I wanna keep my Yepcox car though. So we're gonna take. Ah, fuck! I bought one too many. One too many. Or should we should we go Yepcox or should we go uh, custom skin? Okay, wait, let's just take the bike. And for a bay car, we take the skateboard, and then we should have every. Zack, 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 zack. Perfect. I'm so ready. Okay. Let's go back into the maps, guys. Uh, what maps do we have? Where did we even stop? I think we finished coast. Okay, we only need we only need uh, snow. So let's hop into snow and let's see what what we have. What skin did I apply to things? 
Wait. Ah. Oh my god, it has a custom engine sound. Oh, mega kick. <laughs> yeah, let's go, man. Oh my god. Yeah, this is interesting. Alright, we got the AT though. Oh, mega. Okay, I hope this doesn't get annoying at some point. <laughs> uh, okay, what point did I... Good. Thing is, I don't have a button for horn binded. Okay, let me change this real quick. Let me quickly bind the horn button. Um, inputs, horn. Yes. Okay. Ah, nee, nee, nee. Nein. Zack, 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 zack. And snow A2. Alright, this map though is pretty interesting because this map actually has a shortcut, guys. Beautiful. But this map has a shortcut, guys. And it's kind of dumb. Alright. Ah! I got sniped by Nadeo. Okay, let me try to do the shortcut. But I'm not sure if I can do it because it's quite difficult. But basically, you can go over the mountains here. And if you get it clean, you can then bounce into the finish there. But it's super difficult to do. It's way too dank. Alright, let's try again. Yeah. There are like multiple different ways of getting into the finish. There's like one which includes an edge bug which bounces you up. And there's also like a regular jump kind of, but it's both like kinda yeah. Both equally insane. So I think I cannot get it. But technically it works. Oh mega new man. Oh yeah, kind of like this. Did you see that bounce I got? With that you can get all the way to the platform. Well, we got A2. No, wait, I didn't get AT even. I didn't even beat it. I always, I almost scammed you guys again. So we go again. Was it a beep? I don't know. I think it's the horn from my PB, but there it doesn't show the, the actual wicked horn. Alright, zack. And finish. There you go. Good. Alright, Snow A2 done. We go to Snow A3. Army car versus Army car versus Bubble Cat. Who will win the race? Zack. Looks like Army car is superior. Ha! Outplayed. There you go. Way too dang. <laughs> okay, good. Next one is uh, Snow A4, which is a little bit of an ice map. And this one is has a way too dank world record. Oh my god. Wait, the offer metal is using the bike! What is this? Look at the AT! It uses the bike! What do you mean? What is the sound of that bike? Oh my god. Ha! Oh my look! Oh my god, listen to the sound. Oh my god, it's so loud! Uh, oh no. Okay. Got the AT though. Oh my god. Okay, I, I we will not gonna have the skins for the entire game, I think. It get, just gets too annoying at some point. Mm. We're gonna finish the green series with the sounds. Uh, like, with the skins, and then we're gonna go back. Because, yeah. Otherwise, I'm getting annoyed. Mika on bike, yeah. Mika more like biker. <laughs> Oh no, bad joke. Alright. A5 done. There you go. 18, 17. And we go over to... Uh, yeah, so we finished the white, uh, the white series. All the 35 maps. And now we have another 35 in the green series. And so on. And Alright. Stadium environment. What skin did I pick for stadium? I'm scared. Did I pick... Did I pick the bike? Pause jump? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this looks so dumb. Oh hell no man. Okay, I, I kinda like the sound. Doesn't this one have a backslide? <laughs> Bike backslide. 
bike slide. <laughs> I land bucked with the bike. <laughs> the thing is, of course, uh, in cam wall it's kind of shit because you don't see how wide your car is. Uh. Way too dank, man. Way too dank. There you go. <laughs> oh, mega lul, man. Oh, mega lul. You set a new personal record. Nice. Alright, Stadium B2. Yeah, more bike action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lecker, lecker, lecker. I can barely hear the gears. Zack. And the bike got it again. There you go. Way too dank. Alright, we're gonna keep the skins for the green series, but then I'm gonna go back because, yeah, it's otherwise a bit too troll. <laughs> but it's like, it's kinda Omega Lul that you can get all of that just from the game itself. Like, you don't even have to go to the internet to get this. Okay. Way too dank. Oh, what a race. How was that one, uh... How was that one bike pro called? Ah! I got sniped! What do you mean? Uh, oh! Uh, was there a bike driver or, like, biker called Rossi? I, I, because I remember my dad used... To, yeah, Valentino Rossi, true. I remember my dad used to watch, uh, that kind of stuff. Oh, I side jump with the bike. Wicked. Yeah, no, I mean Valentino Rossi. I remember. Zack. Alright. Let's get a beautiful turn now here. Yeah. Zack. There you go. 22.73. Nice. Yeah, MotoGP, it was true, true. Alright. Uh, Island B4. No, wait. Hey, island? Wait, what? Am I drunk? Stadium B4, bruh. <laughs> Omega Lul. Alright. <clears throat> nah, yeah, the Sonic comes up later, guys. Be patient, be patient. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> it's so dank. Oh, what a clean line. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Not as clean as I expected it to be. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's so stupid. Where am I going? What am I doing, man? Wait. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm I think I'm a little bit I have an issue guys. <laughs> He's like oh damn <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually kinda creepy. Let's continue. <clears throat> oh man. Okay, zack, zack. Thing is, I also have to play Camp 1 because otherwise you don't see the skin and it's kind of useless. I'm really giving myself a challenge here. Zack! Pew! There you go. Dude, that AT is actually not bad. But we got it! Alright, now Stadium B4. Okay, now we are an enduro bike. Now a little bit off road things here. Oh, and it's so weird. Cam 1 is weird, the bike is weird. Everything right now is weird. Oh god, what's this landing? Landing is also weird. Wait, doesn't this map have a shortcut? Yeah, this one has a cut. Oh, scheiße. 
Wait, am I still fast enough? Wait, am I getting sniped by gold? Did I just get sniped by the gold medal? Yes, I did. Amazing. Okay, so I'm not fast enough. Good to know. Alright, I think I have to go cam free, guys. Because otherwise, I'm never gonna get the AT here. Okay, suck. Oh. Yeah, apparently camp 3 doesn't really help me here. Good to know. Landbug, nice. Alright. What a race. Speed slide with the bike. Suck. Okay, that's not enough. What do I need for AT? Why can I... Hello. Uh, select opponents. Wait, why do I not have... Okay, it doesn't show me the AT. That's a little bit unfortunate. Suck. Suck. Uh. That's it. That's it. Sweet slide. And finish. There you go. AT, come to me. Nice. Do you want to play on another track? Yes. Alright, island. And on island... We have Sonic. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, do you hear that? <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Oh hell yeah, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's only for the green series, guys. It's only for the green series. <laughs> Way to dank, man. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> this looks so stupid. <sighs> oh, wait, where am I jumping? No slide? Yeah, Sonic with the no slide. And now Sonic booster. Suck. Way to dank. Sonic! It's enough for AT. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Island B2. What do we have here? Oh, this one. This one has a TP bug slide. That I can... Oh, no. We're racing against the army car. Army car versus Sonic. Who wins? Top 10 anime battles. The camp one is so fucking weird, man. Uh. Alright, tack, and I think the finish was somewhere over here. Yes. Easy. There you go. Sonic over army car. Good to know. Alright, <laughs> we got it though. B2 in the pocket, we go to B3. Ay, 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 ay. This map is also way too dank. Oh no! What is this? He's using the skateboard. Okay, I, ah, spoiler man. We're not even at the skateboard yet. <laughs> uh. No, Sonic crashed. Rip. Sonic dead. Dr. Eggman wins. Unlucky. <laughs> Dude, look at the skateboard, man. Oh my. What is this? <laughs> Wait, I don't see shit. What is this? Look at this. Yeah, XTD, man. I don't see anything. Bruh. Okay. Okay. Failed the low slide because I cannot play this camera. And maybe also it's because of the... Dude, I cannot... I have to go camp 3, guys. Otherwise, I cannot play this at all. <laughs> uh. ay, 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 man. But on this map, guys, I want to show you the world record later. Because this map is actually completely broken. Alright, but let's first of all... Uh, get the AT here. <laughs> ah! Failed. Okay, now no flight. Suck. And suck. There you go. No hands. Oh! Wicked! <laughs> this looked so good in the camera. This looked so good. Uh, XTD, man. Okay, did we get AT? I think we did. 
All right, but let, let I'm gonna show you the world record here because it's literally way too dank. So, so this is the like basically one thing that you need to know about uh, Island is that there is a trick which is called the TP slide, which is basically a bug slide, which kind of teleports you because it's so fast. It's like really wicked. And uh, this map is completely broken. So this is the world record by by me, Tobia, <laughs> who has a Sonic tail skin, which is really nice. Um, it's completely broken. Like, it, the, the technique was already known for multiple years, but people didn't really use it that much. And when Tassis... Wait, I'm in the wrong scene. Scheiße. Here you see the car skin. And when Tassis uh, became a thing, um, people started experimenting with them, and especially Mito uh, Mitopia, or also Kimura, how he's known, uh, played with it. And But he also got, since then, a lot of uh, RTA records with this technique. It looks way too dank, you will see. First of all, some tricks here to reduce airtime. And then after we are out of the tube, it's way too dank. Yeah, yeah, camera is dead, I know, I know. But look at this. TP bug slide, it looks like this. You're like, TP. And... TP. And here again, zack! And you can break a lot of island maps like this. It's way too dank. It's like basically, it's similar to the nose boost, sort of, the way it can break maps. But this is actually more RTA-able than nose boost. But it's kind of similar of how broken it is. It's just way too dang. Like, zack, and speed boost. Now slide sideboard and speed boost. And speed boost. It's way too dang. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, yeah, let's hop back in game here. Zack, zack, zack. Would look great with Sonic skin? True. True, true, true. Okay, Island B4. What do we have here? <laughs> More Sonic action, that's for sure. Against the bike. Sonic versus bike. I feel like Sonic can win. Sonic is the fastest. So, zack. Interesting landing. Drift cancel. Oh no, I'm here in the bike. I think this one uh, also has the TP bug slide that you can do. But we got it. Very nice. <laughs> ah, amazing. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Okay, B4. Uh, B5. The horn as well. Oh, Sonic vs Sonic. Okay, even matchup. Wait, why is he faster? Hello, speed. Where's my speed? This map also has a bug slide. Oh, there you fucked up. Zack. Mm. Hit my head. I think it was possible to bug slide here, kind of. If you uh, get it nicely. Alright, come on, let's win the battle. It looks so stupid. Okay, zack, zack. No slide. And I cannot see. Fuck. Stupid Cam 1, man. The Cam 1 is so dynamic in this game. I have no idea how people can drive like this, honestly. It's so weird. Like, I will never understand how some people are actually driving with this camera here. Like, it, it, it's, it turns so much. It, like, ugh. It's so weird. Okay, zack, forehead. Ugh. Okay, almost died. But good enough. Zack. 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 And there you go. Easy peasy. Yeah, true Elcon, but it's actually not because of the model. Trust me. <laughs> okay, B5 done. Now it's time for Desert. And I think for Desert, I picked the, the GT500. Let's see if that one also has custom uh, sound. Oh my god! Do we have a fa Oh my god, we have a fat V8 sound. Way too dang. Oh my god, it's so loud. Just like real. I lost against the skateboard! I have like 500 horsepower, I lost against the skateboard! Fuck. <laughs> Way too dang, man. Oh my god, it's so loud! Wait, what is that AT, man? The AT is actually really good here. Okay, got it though. Ay, 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 ay. 
Ej. Øh, <laughs> uh, B2. <clears throat> Against the gold medal. Okay. Uh. Oh. Muscle core versus bike. But muscle core definitely superior. <laughs> the sounds are so like. Uh. Ah! Oh, I almost got sniped. By gold though. So we still need a AT. Shit. Okay, let's improve. <laughs> oh, Mega Lul, man. Oh, Mega Lul. I didn't know that all of the skins also have custom sounds, but it's kind of cool. It's way too dank, but it's, it's cool. Meh. Okay, should be enough, I hope. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go. Want to play on another map? Yes. Okay, now Desert B3. Oh, this map. This map has a shortcut, guys. That's where I'm first of all going to show you the normal route again, and then we shortcut as a comparison. Oh, yo, what an unsmooth land. Holy shit, how much speed did I lose with that landing? Dude, I'm gonna get you, Nadeo. I'm gonna get you. Ah, I didn't get you. Fuck. No, I fucked it up. Ah, I got it! <laughs> Sniped! Okay, anyway, the cut is to skip the start. And you basically just go backwards left, I think. And then you just go like this. And suck. You gain a little bit of time. Oh yeah. Actually quite a bit. Look, I gained 1.6 seconds. So Noten, guys. Noten. Ah, there you go. V8 doesn't disappoint. There you go. What a run. 22-34. Very nice. You set a new personal record. Way to thank. Way to dank, we go to Desert B4, which I actually have a really nice time on. Okay. <clears throat> Zack. Ah. I think I have more horsepower than this guy. Easy. Uh, okay, got it though. Very nice. What is flex your wheels redeem? You're basically just throwing your channel points out of the window. You just flex with them. Alright, Desert B5. Before Last map before we have to say bye-bye to the beautiful car here. Zack. Okay. Good mapping, Nadeo. Alright. Suck. Mm. Ah, I cannot drive in this camera. Ah. Alright, suck. Release. Do not hit the forehead. I released and I still had the forehead. Uh, wait, what did I just say? Did I just say had the forehead? <laughs> hit the forehead of course. <laughs> Bruh. Had the four hits, yeah, XCD. Yeo. Yeo, guys, yeo. Alright. Get suck. Get suck. Now the turn. Ah, I slid out! Wait, okay, I have to do the last turn in camp 3, it's a difficult. Wait, there, was there a smile redemption? I didn't see it. Let me first of all finish this map. Yeah, 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 guys, be patient, be patient. Also, by the way, I'm of course later gonna play a uh, cup of the day, obviously. So I think we're gonna finish the, the green series and then I'm actually gonna go to... Oh, dude, this turn is actually difficult. Then I think I'm gonna go to uh, TM 2020. Ah, Elcon with the smile redemption. There you go. Elcon, I also smile for you for free. Don't worry. You can get more than enough of my smiles at uh, uh, Arcadia. Exclamation mark Arcadia, by the way. For all of you in the chat. Because soon there's gonna be a new Trackmania offline event. Gonna be Pogus. I'm gonna be there. Elcon is gonna be there. 
Mime guys, I think, gonna be there. Trilux is gonna be there. Hurda is gonna be there. Everyone is gonna be there. We'll be very covers. Hide. Nee! What is this turn? Ah, yeah, wait. What is the command? Ah, ex it's exclamation mark track Hadia. Sorry. Man, why is this map so difficult? Zack. Och man, Nadeo, who calculated this jump? Hella XCD. For free, actually. There's like, um, like you cannot go to the area where all of the PCs are. But there's like a certain uh, bar area from which you can watch the match for free. It's kind of cool. For those of you that uh, cannot afford the ticket or uh, yeah, don't want to, you can still go there and uh, see quite a bit of stuff for free and maybe even meet me and some of the others. We'll see. Alright, that would be 5 finished, so we have time to go to Rally. What did I pick for the Rally car though? Oh, did I pick the Scape? Oh no. No, this one! Oh, no. Oh, but normal sound or resident sleeper. Normal sound, but we have a cow on... How do you even call those things? I have no idea how to call those things. Wait, I got sniped by offer. Shit. Okay, cow racing though. There you go. Tricycle. Yeah, okay, that sounds sounds logical. <laughs> okay, rally B two. What do we have here? Oh, I remember a trickster. Trickster, go like this to get like a smoother down. In. I think at least. Wait, are we racing against the the GT five hundred? I think we are. Zack, but Cow is faster than the GT500. Obviously. Okay, Rally B2 done. We go to Rally B3. I'm gonna uh, switch back to the normal car skins uh, after we're done with the Queen series. I don't wanna have them for the whole game. Right here, there also was a trickster. You could just. Uh, okay, I failed. Cow over car, yeah. Obviously. But no, you could, instead of driving this turn normal, it was faster to just smash into the wall here and just take it like this. Without getting like stuck on the wall, which like I just did. Fuck, I'm losing. Arcadia is so far away. I mean, depends. It's in Hamburg, Germany, so like the north of Germany. Alright, there you go. Got the wall bang. Got the jump. And the cow is gonna dominate once again. Let's go. Zack. PF finish. And there we go. Very nice. Zack. Zack. B4. <coughs> oh, cow versus spike. Come here, bike. Shouldn't I be faster on grass because I eat it? Ach man! Fuck! Okay, we lost. We lost against the bike. Yeah, that's nice, Perro. So you could just go there. I just, uh, yeah. Spectate a little bit without a ticket, basically. As an example. And if you guys wanna buy tickets, uh, there is a discount code. I just joined the one from Trilux, but you can still apply that because, yeah. Because Trilux has like uh, a bigger deal with uh, Arcadia, and you are, I'm involved as well, basically. So if you apply the QR code, then uh, not QR code. If you apply the code, you can get a ticket for a little bit cheaper. I think there are still are tickets left. I'm pretty sure. 
And also, like, uh, there's not only gonna be, like, a professional kind of event, um, there's also gonna be, like, some fun events. I think they're planning to do, like, some sort of custom cup of the day, which is gonna be really fun in the uh, land area. And also some other uh, stuff. Not exactly sure what, though. Alright. Come on, cow. Show me what you got. Zack. And I crashed. Amazing. Ba-bam, ba-bam. Ah, I touched again. Dude. Okay, let's get to turn now. Zack. Man, oh, I have to go camp three, man. I, <laughs> I want you to show. I want to show you the cow, but I cannot drive like this. Look in camp three. I'm surely gonna make the turn. Easy. All right. The rest is doable with the cow. Never mind. I touched. Ah. Nadeo cannot no slide. Easy. No, I touched again. Ah, don't snipe me. Okay, we got it though. Shit time, shit run, but good enough. All right, then with that, we have to say bye-bye to the cow, and we go over to Bay. What do we have on Bay? Oh, no. The skateboard. Yeah, way to dank. Oh, my God. Look how the skateboard is moving! What is this? Bro. Look how it's moving. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. Just look how it looks like when I uh when I when I go like wiggling. Oh no, skateboard is good. <laughs> good. Alright. Let's show that we are the better skateboard guys. Slide out. Uh, zack. Ah. No, I'm getting sniped. Never mind, I'm not getting sniped. Wait, what's this finish? I have to release. I didn't know about that. Oh, this is way too dank, man. Ah, I didn't release enough. Okay, zack. Zack. Lenken. Clean. Okay, what is so weird? Okay, release. And that's it. Ah, I'm still fast! Oh god, I still finished. Okay, easy. Easy peasy, got it. Alright, baby two, done. Baby three. This skin makes me fertig. Yeah, same. Especially if I race against the bike. Oh my god, the bike sound in the when it's in the air. Okay, wait. I think here was a trickster or something. I'm not sure. Ah, lantern. Ah, fuck. Look how fast the bike is, man. Unfair. Unfair, unfair, unfair. <laughs> I also heard it, McCall. Baby free. <laughs> oh. It's definitely time to switch skins after the Queen series. It's a little bit too dank. Okay, it's suck. No, I still don't. No, bike. Fuck off. Nein! Ach, man. Hallo. We are still in the green series. Dude, this campaign is so long, man. There's so many maps. Can I like not slide out now? Thank you. Alright. Zack! Whee! <laughs> Alright. Ah, got it. Baby 4. Oh, this map also has a shortcut, guys. This map has a shortcut. It's kinda cool. Oh. Why is the author metal only picking custom skins anymore? First of all, Trickster to jump like this to land a little earlier. 
And then... Okay, I'm, le nah, actually, let me show you the normal route first. So the normal route... You just go here, here, here... Oh, scheiße. Man! Bit unfortunate. Then you go over the bridge here, and then... We just go over here into the finish. Okay, how did I... What? Okay, I'm super confused, but doesn't matter. And my game froze! Let's go! Woo! Oh no, not again, man. Oh shit. Not again! Why is my game frozen, man? Oh nee. Okay, a little bit of an issue. Wait. Uh, can I somehow access my task manager? On this screen here. Uh, yeah, okay, I can. Dude, what is what is happening here? And why is the drifting sound not going away? Hello, task manager. Oh my god. Uh, ah, wait. Ah, here we have it. And bye bye. Wait! Hello? Okay, we're still live, dude. What the fuck? I was so confused. You know what I had to do to fix this? I had to create a new desktop via this uh, weird function here in the bottom. Via this things here. I had to create a new desktop to get this to work. Way too dank. Game froze, but we are alive again. Uh, so let me quickly close all of the desktops that I don't need. But the last time this happened, I literally had to restart my entire PC. Because otherwise it uh, literally didn't work. Which is a little bit dank, honestly. Okay. So we go zack, zack, zack. Let's reopen the game. Amazing. Alright. Pega. I don't know why those freezes keep happening though. It's really weird. I never had those before on my old PC. I don't know why it causes this. I think uh, someone... Oh, who was it again? Uh, I think Tallybird also uh, gave me a tip because to her it also happened in Rocket League at some point, but I don't know. Anyway, where were we at? We, f we finished... Um, we finished Bay B4, but I still didn't show you the cut, so we're gonna do that right now. The legs are hot, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. Okay. So, Skateboard Nation. Oh, the bike again. Why the bike? The bike is so loud. Alright. So, the cut. Watch and learn. So, jump down here. Then, suck! Yeah, intended. And then, precision. And, finish. Zack! There you go. Easy cut, easy life. Did I do sports growing up? Yes. I am still doing sport sometimes, but not too often. Alright, Bay B5. Which one? Uh, I used to do... I actually did fighting sports for like seven years. I don't know if I ever told that, but yes. I did fighting sport for some years. Then I also used to work out quite a bit at some point. And nowadays, yeah, I'm doing eSports, man. <laughs> nah, the only thing I'm doing now, like, kinda regularly is playing volleyball, but that's kinda it. Alright. Zack! Ah, nee! Uh, finish? Okay, got it. Alright, Bay finished! It's time to go to Coast. What skin do we have here? Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's so... Dude, it's spinning so fast. What the fuck? What on earth? Holy shit. Yeah, no thanks. What on earth? It's so fast. Oh, I crashed. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like... Uh, yeah, epilepsy warning. I guess, yes. Holy shit. I think I'm just gonna not play with this. <laughs> okay. That one is spinning a little too fast. It's going just as ham as the legs of Sonic. 
Oh my god. <laughs> XTD. Okay, finish. Nice. Bay. Uh, no, Coast B2 in the pocket. So we go to Coast B3. Does this one have a shortcut? I'm not sure. This one might also have a shortcut, actually. Oh god. Of course, we race against the skateboard. Trackmania on its peak, ladies and gentlemen. Play with a Pokeball against the skateboard. With a rat on it. I am pretty sure this map was colorful. But I don't know how exactly it was done. Alright, suck. Boom, boom. Alright, let's try the cut. I think it was to just go down here. Oh, it's so bad in this camera. Oh, no. No! Wait. We have to get to the checkpoint. Yeah, if you overball and get a checkpoint and respawn, I think it's faster, but I don't want to do it with this skin. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. Coast B4. <clears throat> oh, I remember this map. I remember this map from the, the cheating uh, video by Virtual. Because Riolo used to have world record here. <laughs> That's where I mainly remember this map from because he included some clips from this one. Ah! Wait, did I just lose it? No, should be fine. Alright, got it. And now, time for B5. Oh, off road map. Wicked. Oh. This map also has a shortcut, guys. This map has a shortcut and it's way too dank. Ah! What is this turn, man? My deal. Okay, zack. Oh god. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't think I can do the shortcut anyway. I don't think I can do it, but I, I'm, I'm gonna try it. Let's just try. I never tried it myself, I just saw the world records. Ah, I got a slide on. Fuck. So I think it was possible to overwall here some. Wait, how was that? I'm not entirely sure how exactly it's done, but it was possible to overwall here. Then drive here and get the checkpoint and you basically skip this entire part here. But too advanced for me. Too advanced. Alright, and with that, it's time to go to snow and the last remaining maps of the green series. Very nice. We're back to the army car. And with that, we're also, uh, yeah, back <coughs> to the normal skins, almost. Because after this, I'm gonna <laughs> pick the normal skins again. Zack. Easy peasy. First one, done. B2. Oh, touched. Happens. Zack. Zack. Going over the bridges a little. What a beautiful map. Zack, zack. There you go. And nice camera. Wicked. <sighs> ha! Flix, I'm not following Pokemon. Na 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 na. <laughs> Alright, Snow B3. Okay, zack, zack. Zack. 
Ah! Not so good. Smooth, smooth, oh Gott, down, jump, and zack, and wait, 360, into 50-50 grind, into missing the AT, amazing, fuck, <laughs> ah shit, okay, we, we tried it again, was this car model, yeah, yeah, it was labeled as army car in the shop that I bought it in. Nothing against our beautiful custom skins. They are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, it's set. But now the 360 guys are ready. And almost. Almost good 360. Alright, 25, 34, uh, 34. And with that we can go to Snow B4, which is another map that has uh, some shortcuts. And yo Jarwin, alright here once again the trickster to uh, go a little sideways Because with that you uh, actually gain a little bit more speed From snow Zack ah. Now I'm too far left, nah, doesn't matter You see I'm a little bit ahead uh, technically there is a cut of jumping out like this and getting back onto the road here but you have to get a really weird bounce for that so I'm not gonna do that that was good zack and then zack I'm just gonna take the normal route now because uh, I'm not a cutter and then you can also cut here though <laughs> We can just skip the ice basically by going to the sides. And I got sniped by the Nadeo medal. Absolutely amazing. That's what I love. Okay, let's just finish normally now because I wanna go on. Okay, zack. Uh, here, zack, zack. And here we go. And finito. Alright. One more map for the green series and one more map for the marathon for today. Snow B5, which is also a very uh, tricky map actually. So a few tricksters on this map. First of all, you can go like uh, zack and zack to uh, fully reduce airtime on the downhill. But it's actually pretty, pretty uh, difficult. So you have to get like the perfect steering in order to not just fly off. Yeah, actually, uh, we had a huge storm on Mallorca. It was crazy. It was like a huge thunderstorm and it was kind of devastating. The last evening. But it also was kind of kind of cool. It gave some action. And yeah, also here it is possible to like land on the side or something and then just finish like this. There are quite a few tricks on the short map. But yeah, with that, um, we got it. And yeah, with that we are also done for the green series of Trackmania United and we still haven't even finished half of the race mode, which is only one out of four game, ga uh, game modes. So it just takes ages to play uh, through everything here. But we are gonna do it. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, gonna continue with that tomorrow then. But for now, we're gonna switch back to Trackmania 2020. And also question to chat, um, is Trackmania Nations Forever the same game? Uh, no, Trackmania Nations Forever is free. And um, it's basically part of United Forever. And so you can basically get this Nations campaign for free. But if you buy Trackmania United Forever, you also get the entire United campaign. So you also get access to the other environments, etc. So that's basically how it works. Alright, let's quit this beautiful game here. This game is from 2008. And it's a really, really cool game that I played for literally thousands of hours. And that's not exaggerated. I played this game a shit ton of time. Basically, until three years ago, I played it for 10 years straight, you could say. B uh, basically, until I started playing competitions in the stadium environment. And this game has a lot to offer in the solo mode. And, um, yeah, one part of Trackmania United Forever is the entire Trackmania Nations Forever, which we also already played, where we got all of the medals. And then there, of course, also is the official United campaign with four different game modes. 
And uh, yeah, Trickmania United Forever, for those of you that don't know, um, <laughs> includes seven different environments. So basically, all this game has all the environments that got introduced into the game until this game came out. So we have Desert, Rally, Snow from Trickmania Original, we have Bay, Coast and Island from Trickmania Sunrise, and we have Stadium from uh, Trickmania Nations ESWC. So this map is, uh, this map, this game basically combines everything. It's like the Avengers for Trickmania, you could say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it has a lot to offer. We have uh, the race game mode, which we are currently in with the five difficulties, as you guys all know. And yeah, I think uh, yesterday we finished off the greens, uh, the green maps. So we still have blue, red and black to complete entirely. And that might take some time still. I don't think we can finish that off today, but um, we will try. Uh, but before we do that, actually, uh, I have to change back the skins because I got myself some troll skins yesterday, like this one, <laughs> or also this and the Pokeball, but they all have custom sounds and uh, yeah. So we're gonna change back to some more normal stuff again. Uh, so let's just choose whatever here. Doesn't matter, <laughs> but not the Pokeball especially. All right, suck. Suck. Then we take these, and for the stadium car, we of course take the skin that I made here. Yep, Cox. <laughs> We're gonna take that one. All right. Um, you tried TM and TMUF for the first time yesterday, and I kind of like the desert environment. Yeah, desert is actually uh, really, really cool. I gotta admit, desert is a cool environment. I agree. It's also pretty keyboard friendly, so it's like, uh, yeah, good for nowadays player kind of, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, cool to hear. Um, wait, four notifications. Um. Uh, no, I didn't get an answer yet, sadly. Because for those of you that don't know, I wrote a message to Race Hans in this game, but he didn't reply yet. Anti-move. Very big anti-move by- He's even online, man! Look at this! Race Hans is even online! But this guy is not answering. What a keck! I even donated him coppers! Man, 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 Race Hans. Ay, 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 ay. Does anybody know when the next VOD will be released on the VOD channel? I don't really like to switch VODs and want to rewatch the marathon streams. Um, Daniel, the thing is, um, I think I wanna wait with the VODs to upload until the highlight videos are uploaded um, on the main channel. But technically, I also don't really have to do that. I could also just upload them now already. Maybe I'm gonna do it later today, actually. Only for you, Daniel. Only for you. <laughs> and then also, Matty, thanks a lot for the nine month reset. Thank you, man. And, uh, yo, exactly. Alright, uh, also wait, one thing, uh, we can change the horn again. I want, I want a different horn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's this one? Okay, I, I'm gonna take this one, alright. <laughs> but enough of that shit now. Time to uh, hop into the racing. So we finished the white and the green maps. And uh, the reason why this took so long is that for each difficulty, except for black, um, we have five maps per environment. But the issue is we have seven environments. So each difficulty has 35, uh, 35 tracks. And that is a lot. So uh, <laughs> it takes some time. But we're gonna hop straight in. Map number one of the day and environment number one is Stadium. And we're gonna start with Stadium C1. And um, uh, that's a bit weird, Flix. I don't know what you could do to fix that, honestly. Um, but I guess maybe Google or ask on the official uh, Trackmania Discord. But I'm not sure. Alright, the first map of the day. Stadium C1. I'm gonna start off with Stadium with the familiar stuff for most of you and also for me. I think there was, yeah, there was a trickster here to land a little bit earlier. Only for five hats. Zack. Oh, it's slower. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> I got overtaken by gold. Um, and yeah, of course, the goal is to get all of the offer medals, as usual. Shouldn't be too difficult, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try. Thing is, uh, I'm starting to not know the maps anymore, which is not really helpful. Alright, that was not the greatest. Ah! Oh, Nadeo, what is this? Dude, Nadeo mapping is sometimes so omega lul. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Alright, we got goals. Yay! But it's not offer. Shit. Okay, we have to go again. And yo, Brian. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, all good, Daniel. The thing is, I wanted to wait all of the time, but uh, if I wait for so long, it, because it's just one hell of an effort to make all of the uh, edited videos. Because, like, just take um, Trickmania uh, Sunrise Extreme, the second game in the series. For that game, I needed, like, 25 hours to complete. And doing a highlight video out of that is, like, uh, yeah, 
it just takes some time if you want to do it properly. So, you're... Wait, where's my entrance sound? Huh? Okay, weird. The yeah, Flix landing bugs in this game are not really rare, to be honest. <laughs> They're not really rare. They can happen in literally, uh, literally every environment in this game has landing bugs. Like some have more than others. Like for example, Bay has like barely any landing bugs, but Stadium is terrible. Uh, Rally also has a lot of landing bugs. Why am I nose loading all of the time? Amazing. It's not that great, honestly. It's not that great. <laughs> I mean, it's also kind of part of the game, kind of. I think if they would uh, like fix the fix all of the landing bugs in this game, people would not like to play it that much anymore. It's just like part of the game. It sucks, but it's part of the game. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, by the way, the reason why I uh, just started to stream so late today was because uh, I was allowed <laughs> to go shopping with my girlfriend all day and uh, yeah, we literally just came home an hour ago. I had a massive headache and I had to chill for a little bit, but now it's better again and we got the AT, very nice. So, uh, yeah, now it's fine again, but I couldn't really start the stream any earlier. That was not that great. Alright, Stadium C2 is a map that has a shortcut, I think. But I don't know how exactly that one works. Never mind, I remember. I remember. I remember Schmaniol is like OG on this map. He has like... Okay, wait, wait. Um, what was the cut again? I think you had to like jump out here technically. But there also was another cut where you just go out here. And then you just go directly over here. Ha! Oh. Fuck. Is that still gold? No! Fuck, okay. But kinda like this, kinda like this. Allowed, not forced? Yeah. I mean, technically my girlfriend is not here, so I can also say forced. <laughs> but the official thing is, I was allowed. Okay? <laughs> Well, that was not too amazing because uh, my girlfriend's best friend has uh, it's her birthday tomorrow and she had to buy a lot of stuff for that because they always make each other like huge ass gifts and uh, yeah it was amazing exactly how I like to spend my Saturday evenings all right cut has been done successfully is it fast enough though I kind of doubt it ah mm, could be maybe a post jump yes okay very nice we go next. Stadium C3. A great honor? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great honor. Indeed. <laughs> Why can I send her a clip of you saying that? <laughs> you can't. I will delete the VOD straight away. Nobody will ever hurt that. I mean, my girlfriend is not dumb. Of course she knows that I, <laughs> that I don't wanna... That I'm not joining her because I like to do it. It's because I like her. And I'm a good boyfriend. Of course. Ah, what is this? Nadeo. Okay, wait, what is the gold? Dude, look at the gold medal. <laughs> gold medal is using the Sonic skin. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, you guys, do you know, guys, something that I didn't tell you yet. So I was, uh, I was on vacation the past week or so. I came back uh, two days ago. And we flew to Mallorca. And of course, to Mallorca, you also, ha you always have to go by plane. Kind of, and uh, like literally at both flights that we had, like at the flight to Mallorca and at the flight back home, after the security check-in, I had to go to a drug test, and it took like 10 minutes or so, at both, like, I don't know, they, they probably pick out like every 50th person there to do this extra test, and I had to do it twice. I don't know if I just don't look trustworthy to the uh, airport security, if they think I'm a drug smuggler or something, but I literally had to go there twice. That was I was feeling kind of sus. I don't know. It was super weird. <laughs> but if streaming doesn't work someday, smuggling trucks is definitely something that won't work. Apparently, good to know. Not that I would have done that anyway, of course. <laughs> but still, that was kind of kind of omega. -lul. My girlfriend was also just kicking. I don't know why they thought uh, I could be a potential smuggler. I have no idea. I was a bit confused. All right, anyway, uh, we are on Stadium C4. You could call this a tech map, maybe? But also not really. <laughs> this is Nadeo tech. 
Now, Deo tech is a new style of tech, guys. But to be honest, it's more fun than regular tech maps. They 100% grab people that look sus. I've traveled a lot together with a friend that looks like a hippie and they always random test him at flights. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, what, what was I worrying? I think uh, I was worrying my cap. I was basically looking exactly like I look right now. And I don't know if this looks too sus, but apparently it was. <laughs> Alright, Stadium C5, last green stadium map. Oh wait, Ooh, fuck, that was too low. And yo, Puckuber, hello, hello. They did it I, because I like speed. Yeah, in Shrek Mania I do. Ah, dude, again. But not IRL, man. I believe the cap is a problem. Could be, could be. Maybe if I would have, uh, if I would have, wait, what is the correct verb? If I would have, wait, what is, what is the past form of were? Like were a cap? What's that in the past? If I was wearing a cap, I don't know. But if I would have uh, worn it uh, <laughs> the correct direction, it would have maybe been better. Like not the way I usually do it, like this, but like uh, that one, th like the, the correct way, basically. You know what I mean? I'm a bit out of London. Warn? Okay, warn then. Okay, good to know. Good that I have my uh, English-speaking friends in the chat. But yeah, you know what I meant. <laughs> and yo, Rocky Railgun. Wait, we had a raid. Dude, I almost missed it. Uh, we have Toto with the raid. Yo, hello, hello. Thank you, Toto, for the raid. And uh, yeah, uh, for those of you that just joined, I am currently playing... Uh, I'm currently doing a project in Trackmania. Where I play through all of the old Trackmania games. And right now I'm uh, at Trackmania United Forever from 2008. We are in the middle of the solo campaign. But yeah, uh, second environment of the day here. Island. One of my most favorite ones. Uh, yeah, let's see how long we need here. To finish off the maps. Okay. The thing is, uh, I did play the game for literally ages. But I never really played the solo mode too much. I mostly just played online. So I I kinda know the maps, but uh, not really. Uh, the real question is, did I do Trackmania United? Um, not the game itself, Toto, but I played uh, the white maps from United. But in United Forever. But not the actual United. It's like the same with Trackmania Original. Like Trackmania Original, technically you can also play... Uh, ooh, you can technically play four different versions of it. But, uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. Because for Trackmania Original, uh, the very first game that I played in the marathon, uh, the very first version that came out is called Trackmania 1.0. And then it basically had two more add-ons, which were called Trackmania Power Up and Trackmania Speed Up. And I just played the full version then with all the add-ons. So technically, I could also play every single update. I could have also played this game here before the Star Trek update, etc. But... Wait, wicked camera! Wait, can I do 360? Is this the ending jump? Oh no, I'm jumping. Ah! Oh, wicked. Way too dank. Way too dank. Wicked in the chat. We got it. <laughs> okay, I'm very surprised this worked. But we got the AT. Very nice. So we go to Island C3. <coughs> Alright. What do we have here? Bing, bing, bing. And yo, Joey! Uh, yes! United, hello. And even Island, Joey. Even Island. Oh god. But don't look at me, I cannot drive Island anymore. I have to get used to stuff again. <sighs> oh wait, dude, the cameras are on point, man. Oh god, almost too far. I think this map is a one is one that I really like because it's very technical, but super I can uh, I can barely see where to go. And yo, Schlupsen, with a gift sub, going to Give Rally. Thanks a lot, man. Muchas gracias. <laughs> also, like, when we were on Mallorca, uh, <laughs> that was also one thing that was... It was kind of annoying to me, because, um, as some of you might know, I had uh, Spanish lessons in school. So I, um, I was actually somewhat solid at Spanish when I was in 12th grade. But since then, which is like three years ago from now, or four years ago even... I never really spoke Spanish because like where should I speak Spanish, you know? And but I still remembered quite a bit of stuff and I uh, tried to speak oh, wicked camera. I tried to speak Spanish at like every occasion on Mallorca. 
But the thing is, uh, like for those of you that don't know, Mallorca is an island uh, from, that belongs to Spain. But it's like the most favorite vacation place for Germans. Like, basically, uh, more than half of the tourists going there are Germans. And because of that, most of the people that work there, like in hotels or like at the beach, etc., they also speak German. And uh, so what, usually uh, they don't speak to you in English or uh, in English or Spanish. They just speak German immediately because literally almost all of them are German. But I kind of wanted to speak Spanish, like to to practice my Spanish skills a little bit. But every single time, the people working at the hotel, etc., they always immediately noticed that I was German and like. Uh, I don't know, like for example when we were at the restaurant, I tried to order in Spanish. Like for example when I tried to order a beer or something. But they also, like even when I spoke to them in Spanish, they just replied in English, uh, in German. And I, I was so confused, like it feels like they didn't want me to speak Spanish. It was a bit annoying, honestly. <laughs> what is this checkpoint placement, Nadeo? What is, the fuck? I wasn't even close of getting that one. Bruh. So I really tried to speak Spanish, like I was there, um, like for example, uh, at a restaurant, when you want to order a beer, uh, beer in Spanish means uh, cerveza, and I said like, oh yeah, una, una cerveza por favor, you know, like I want a beer please, and the only thing they replied was uh, something like, uh, groß oder klein, <laughs> like, I don't know, they didn't want to answer in Spanish, I was a little bit mad. Alright, can I like... Okay, thank you. Oh, water pipe jump. Uh. Fuck! Why am I jumping? Fuck! I jumped too early. They spotted the German accent, maybe. But I really, really tried. I really, really tried. The thing is, um, the one, like the... There were, of course, also a few people working there that didn't speak German. But then they just replied in English. And... Uh, English is not really a language I need more practice in. Like, I'm literally speaking English each day, all day, it feels like. You know? With the stream, etc. So I couldn't practice my Spanish, man. I was super mad. Really mad, basically. Okay, what do we do here? Oh, we jump through the hole? Aha, wicked. Okay, no slides. And finish jump, maybe? Yeah, Not do Oh my god, what is Nadeo's finish placement? Look at the red marks! This is where I would have to go! Do you see how high I jumped? I landed here! I jumped like- Oh my god, what the fuck? I jumped like five blocks too far. Dude, this- Oh my god. This map has three jumps, or like four jumps overall, and at three of them you can jump too far. That's absolutely amazing. Ay ay ay. I could be an idiot, but when I downloaded that, I didn't have the menu... Wait, I can... Didn't have the menu screen, uh... Grenady had in this video. Wait, what did you download? Yeah, the thing is, um... On island, stuff like this can really easily happen, because, uh... Nadeo is driving all of their offer times with keyboard, because keyboard is just by far the worst device, um... In this game here. And... Dude, fuck this checkpoint. Dude, how high is Nadeo jumping? And where am I jumping? What am I doing? But yeah, because of that, um, the offer times on those environments where keyboard is far inferior, which island definitely is one of them, um, they are usually really, really bad. Because Nadeo is just drifting every single turn and usually you wanna uh, smooth steer in order to no slide. Okay. Alright, suck. Not optimal, but should be good enough. The thing is, I don't think uh, you can get, like, Trickmania United forever, you have to buy it nowadays. Like, I think it still costs 20 euro, like, the exact same as when, came, as when it came out. But, uh, yeah, okay, how much do I need to release now? I think a lot, actually. That's not too far, is it? No, okay. So, like, with the older Trickmania games, you could just get them for free from Abandonware. But, uh, yeah, this game is still too, too modern to get it for free, so you would have to buy this game if you want to play it. Alright, next one. Desert environment coming up. Uh, not my mo- I mean, I really like desert, but it's uh, not my best one. 
Because Desert is actually an environment which is really, really good for a keyboard. Because uh, tapping when steering is actually faster in Desert, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. Ah, super nice. Yeah, fantastic. Good landing. <laughs> and the gold skill is a little bit faster. Since we're playing Desert, Sonic here is a Desert Eagle. Ha! Dude, again! What is this landing, man? Udo. Why am I not driving as Sonic? Um, the thing is, yesterday I played with all custom skins. And the issue was that most of them also had... That most of them also had uh, custom engine sounds. For example, the Sonic one was just like uh, basically steps on the ground. You can kinda also hear it when we're getting close to it. And it's, I mean, I, I played with them through the whole green series, but at some point it was annoying. Yeah, I didn't even get gold, man. So if you wanna uh, watch that, then you can check the VOD, but I'm gonna play with the normal maps again. <laughs> this is a map from the virtual cheating video. Uh, it actually is, yeah. Alright, can we like not land like an absolute idiot here? Okay, I split out. Why am I struggling so much, man? I played this game for literally ages. But I'm so bad. Ah, <sighs> unlucky. Okay, now I'm gonna get it. Full focus, full focus run. No hesitation. No chokes. Full focus. Let's go. Okay, sorry. Uh, I gotta flip. Ach man, this is landing. Okay, anyway, it should still be fast enough for AT, I think. Wiggle. Wiggling here is actually faster on this kind of desert because um, uh, it really slows you down. It's a bit like penalty grass or penalty sand, uh, penalty dirt, I mean, on uh, Trickmania 2020. And when you wiggle, um, you only always drive with two tires of the uh, on the penalty things. And because of that, you actually accelerate more, which is kind of funny. Alright, uh, C1. Done. So now, C2. Zack, zack. This map has a cut. It has a cut. Wait, wait. I'm gonna show you. I remember. Okay, we're racing against the bike. Nice. So the cut is, turn around here. And then, just go here. And you can skip an entire part. And we're five seconds ahead suddenly. Easy peasy. Oh. And another cut. I think, wait, where was it? Here? Yeah, here. Suck and suck, and we can skip the turn a little. So yeah, proud FWO member here. Not, but I could be. <laughs> and there you go, finito. Desert ATs are hard in my opinion. Um, they actually are, and mostly it's really because um, Desert is so good for keyboard. That's like literally the only reason. And yo Sonwell, thanks a lot for the 11 month resub. Thanks a lot. Oh my god, against what are we driving here? I think I have, I think I downloaded a GT500 skin yesterday. Like, very loud muscle car. <laughs> we are racing against that one. Okay, but now I'm too far away. Don't hear it anymore. Zack. Oh. Where am I jumping, man? Am I like, what the fuck? Uh. Oh, I barely even beat gold. Holy shit. Grenady, slow. Alright, let's get it on. Yeah, I feel like every uh, map Riolu had used to have world record on was in a cheating video at some point. <laughs> okay, suck, suck. Now, suck. We jump. And now we go straight. Okay. Good. And no, PF finish. Zack! And we make it. There you go, that should be enough. Lighted OST is wicked. Uh, it's good, but uh, the one from Trickmania uh, Sunrise and the original are better in my opinion. Like this one here is fine, I can listen for it, to it for a bit, but... It quickly becomes boring if you ask me. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did the gold medal do? It did a front flip. Way too dank. Alright, zack, looping. Uh, turn. Okay. I think we have to go like right here, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, then probably here somewhere. Ah, that was too far, scheiße. Fuck. Okay, let's just continue to see the rest of the map. And there is the finish already. Yeah, amazing. So I failed basically the very last thing you can fail. That's great. Always amazing. Alright, let's try again. Ah, perfect. That's true, Orange Ruby. Valley has a great soundtrack. <laughs> what, is this, what is this first jump, by the way? It's so awkward. But okay. Oh god, the lantern. Oh god. Fuck. Ach man. What a first jump. Absolutely amazing. Super great. And yo, Fabs. What is this jump on? The funny thing is, guys, um, after we are done with Trickmania United Forever, um, we're gonna hop into the Trickmania DS and Nintendo games, and afterwards Trickmania Turbo and Trickmania 2. And basically, for all of those games, I barely played the solo mode, so I, I know, like, nothing, basically. So, starting after this game, uh, it will be Pepega. You can trust me. Uh, okay, is that enough, though? Where I play the S with wheel. I'm, I mean, uh, I don't think the S offers analog steering, so it's kinda useless, but I will try to get it to work. We're gonna see. Alright, we got the AT, so we go to Desert C5. Trackmania, I mean, I know uh, quite a bit of Trackmania 2 solo, at least for Stadium, but the rest is kinda. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, don't know anything. <laughs> The thing is, I don't even know how to drive Valley and uh, Valley and Stadium, uh, not Stadium, Valley and uh, Coast mainly. No, what? What am I talking about? Valley and Canyon, bruh. Uh. So that will be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Canyon. I was just. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, 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 okay. I think that's even the WR spread. I think the world record is actually crashing there because you're too fast. Okay, nice off-road map. Also, actually, one thing that I thought about. Uh, since I played this game for a lot, I also uh, built quite a lot of maps in this game. And most of them were, like, actually good. Like, super transitional maps, etc. Wait, that's only gold. Fuck. And technically, if you guys are interested, um, once we're done with the solo mode, I could also do a grenade mapping showcase for a little bit. If you guys are interested. Some maps that I built when I was like 14 to 16 years old. Trust me, there are some bangers. I actually built some banger maps back in the days. I also built crap maps, but most of them actually were good. Like I used to build super transitional and difficult maps, so I don't even know if I can finish them nowadays. <laughs> oh, dude, what is this turn, man? Hella XTD. Dude, can I even be fast enough with this? Let me try, but I'm not sure. Go fast, go fast, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm trying. Alright, we're faster than the PB. Zack, and finish. Is it enough though? Half a second improvement. Uh, is it? Yep. Very nice. Okay. Well then, uh, desert done. So we go over to Rally. And we have a hydrate. Uh, let me hydrate real quick. <laughs> Joe, yeah, the daggy maps. <laughs> and yo, uh, Dragon, thanks a lot for the three month resub, of course. Much appreciated. Oh, we have another cheating map. Riolu definitely was cheating on this map here, guys. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh my god, is that? Dude, the bike! We're getting wrecked by the bike! What do you mean? Dude, Nadeo, man. Hello. We're driving off-road, a bike shouldn't be fast here. Oh my god, the sound of it. Okay, not a great run, but fast enough. Good. Zack, and there you go. <laughs> I've played this game so much, Jesus. Always loved the big variety of cars and location scenes. Yeah, true. That's like the biggest strength of this game, honestly. That it basically combines everything that the previous uh, free Trek Mania games offered. Like seven different environments, that's crazy. Okay, uh, let's go to C2. I actually have a good time here, officially. 
I have 240,000 skilled points. Isn't that great? Okay, now we're racing against Sonic again. Gut. Eh. Shit, I touched. Eh. Eh. Oh Gott. Eh. Ai, ai, ai. Okay. Survived. Then zack. Zack. Oh Gott, I clipped. Eh. Saved it. Then we go here. Ah, I land back. Scheiße. Nee. Okay. Are we still ahead of Nadeo? Yes. Okay. Well then, I take it. Won't complain. Uh, yeah, there is actually uh, the. I mean, it is pretty much confirmed actually. For those of you that don't know, but uh, this guy who's currently first on the leaderboard, 92 Bob, is uh, Ryodu actually. Like it's not officially confirmed by Nadeo, but I heard that the IP address of that guy is uh, yeah basically in the city where Ryodu lives. I don't know who found it out, but I heard it. So, uh, yeah, this is actually most likely the Riolu guy. And, yeah, he has uh, legitimately gotten back into first place in the world. Most likely. It was Plague you? Okay. Yeah, I don't know who found it out, but uh, it's most likely... Um... Wait, he doesn't play on competitive patch? Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's actually... Not sure if this, uh, if his records are official. So he's not uploading them to TMX. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what a pepega. Ay, ay, ay. The thing is, Riolu, like, easily could uh, get first in the world legitimately. If he would just, like... Ugh, I don't know, man. Well, anyway, uh, what map did we just play? Did we play C2 or C3? I think we have to play C3 now. Yeah, okay, good. So he might still be cheating. I mean, why should he stop now? <laughs> Apparently he liked to do it for 10 years, now he's caught, so he can just continue. <laughs> ah, Pepega, man. Riolu guy. Oh god, wait, did I hit the check- Why can you hit the checkpoint, Nadeo? Ah. Nadeo, focus, please. <laughs> his LinkedIn profile. I land, I bucked. Ah, Rally is so buggy! Rally definitely is the second most buggy environment after Stadium. Like, uh, especially those kind of ramps here are, they can literally just completely fuck you up into one direction for no reason. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, we go suck, then suck. Bit unsmooth, but it works. Of course, I slide out. Fuck. Okay, should still be fast enough. Let's hope I don't bug on the ramp. Nope. Alright. Good, 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 good. Yeah, true fubs. Like, there's no reason why he should uh, not play the game anymore, but... I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay, wrong guess. I thought we had to go to the left. But it was to the right instead. Amazing. Definitely very flowy to go to the right there. Okay, tuck, then over the bridge. Then tuck, then to the right, there you are. But these kind of rally off-road maps are always kind of cool. I like them. Tuck. And tuck. And I see a finish line. Very good. There we go. Rally C4 done. Need one more to go. Rally C5. Alright. Let's get the AT here as well, really quick. And then we can hop over to the next one. And yo, bye bye, Dreamcat. Have a good rest of the evening. Thing is, we don't even have much time left anymore. Like, it's so bad. I started the stream so late. I don't even know if we can finish. I mean, we can definitely finish uh, blue, but I don't think we can finish red until come of the day, which kind of sucks. Okay, suck, suck. Uh. All right. Mm. Yes, 92 Bob is most likely real. Oh god. Uh. Uh. Hello. Don't slide out. 
Out of all the environments uh, of Trickmania, what is my least uh, favorite? Boah, um, I mean probably... Uh, probably... Whoa, yeah, yeah, good question. Look, look at this, guys. I'm top four in the world. There I am. Zack. Wicked. Um, but yeah, mostly... I don't know, it's, I guess it's the TM2 environments because I didn't really play them yet. So, uh, yeah. Probably Lagoon, Canyon, and also Valley. Although I don't, I, there, there's no environment that I really dislike. Like some of them really have their charm. Like uh, pretty much all of them have their charm, uh, like to some degree, you know. Okay. Let's not fail with one jump now again. Zack, early landing, good, then jump, then, uh, yeah, don't die here. Uh. Ah. God. Okay, it's scary, kinda lucky that I survived that. Then Zack, okay, good. Uh, nipple. Yeah. <laughs> this map is kinda cool, I, I remember I hunted this. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't be top 5 world, of course, but I did hunt this for quite a bit. Alright, there you go though, very good time, Zack, we go to Bay C2. And yo Lars, hallo, guten Tag. Wait, what, what, are, we, what are we talking about in chat, I kinda... Ah, about Trabadia, okay. I see, I see, I see. So, wait, what is about Trabadia? I don't want to read through the whole chat again. I have to do some progress in this game. Can I get a TLDR of my own chat, please? Thank you. <laughs> Dude, this sound from the bike behind me. It's so loud. Wait, cut time. Wait, pay attention, guys. Cut. Break here. Go here. Suck. Skip the looping. There you go. Way too dank. But I had like zero exit speed, so it didn't really gain me anything. Good. Tight turn. And suck. Oh god. I ignored your smile redemption? Uh, no. Wait. Trickster. Ha! There you have it. Just same old cheating discussion. Nothing to worry about. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, base C3. Dude, I have a nice time here as well. Top 7 in the world, guys. I'm top 7 in the world on this map. Isn't that amazing? Super good. In short, don't cheat, kids. Yeah. Imagine cheating in vi imagine cheating in competitive video games. It's such an asshole thing to do. Don't you think so? Like, who the fuck cheats in competitive games? Like, uh, heh? I mean, if you, like, if, like, there are also good kind of cheats. Like, for example, in if you just play, uh, I don't know, a GTA game and you want to have fun in solo mode, and you give yourself, uh, you do, you type in Rocket Man and you get a, uh, a jetpack in Trickmania uh, San Andreas, then of course fine. But who the fuck cheats in competitive games? Like, what kind of human do you have to be to cheat in competitive games? Where it's about being the best. Like, what the fuck, man? It's so dumb. I will never understand that, man. Where else you should cheat? Yeah, you shouldn't cheat anywhere, of course. I mean, I also used to cheat in, <laughs> in school sometimes, maybe, <laughs> the one or other time. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, in such competitive stuff, it's like... Super stupid. Wait, where do I have to go, man? Okay. Dude, I should I should start a beatboxing career. Okay, I have no idea where I have to go, by the way. Okay, straight, I guess. Yup. Oh, smooth landing. <laughs> and finito. There you go. Good. If you're already in the pro scene and you cheat, you're just asking to be erased off the scene, yeah. The thing is, Riolu has been in the pro scene for multiple years, but he has been cheating for even more years. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not what he did, kind of. Alright, Bay C5. And we are racing against the skateboard. Obviously. Good skin. 
dude. I cannot play. I kind of also want to play in Cam 1 for a little bit to like, I don't know, show you how it looks like the game. But Cam 1 is so weird. Look, look how it moves. Like, how can you play in this camera? Uh, uh, nipple. Oh god. Okay, quarter pipe. Zack. Low jump. Oh god. Okay. Ah, nee. Scheiße. Uh, are these offer time medals easier um, than in Trackmania 2020? Um, overall, yes, I would say. But it also depends. Like if you, I mean, I play those environments here for many years already. So I know what to, uh, so I kind of know, I kind of know what I'm doing. But when you play it for the first time, I think they're also really challenging. And of course, I also know the maps, uh, sort of at least. What a smooth landing, man. Oh, nee. Ach, what am I doing? Fuck. Yo, Schmackofatzen. What a nice nickname. Moin. Welcome. Alright, can I, like, you know, not die now? Ah, good job, Grady. Perfect. Sometimes I'm, like, I don't know. It sometimes it really looks like I'm, I'm intentionally jinxing myself. Or like I'm jinxing and then crashing on purpose, but no. I never do that. I'm just... I really just am weird. Okay, can I like not die here? Thank you. Zack. Then, jump. Okay. Release a bit because I was scared. Cut. Okay, finished. There you go. Alright, Bay is finished. So we go over to Coast, Coast C1. So yeah, the Coast maps, uh, like, I didn't really enjoy Coast that much when I played this game actively. So the Coast maps are the ones I know the least, I would say, overall. Because I just never really played Coast in general. So yeah, most of the maps here, I have no clue what's going on. But I guess that's that's also what's gonna make the, the later games more interesting, like Trickmania Turbo, Trickmania 2, also Trickmania DS games, etc. Um, I just don't know anything about those. I mostly played the old Trickmanias. But those games we can kind of like discover together then. And people like Lars, who are, for example, very familiar with Trickmania Turbo, they can keck about me. Isn't that amazing? Zack! What a run. What a run. Very nice. This one has a big cut. Um, yeah, I think in the ending, right? I think in the ending you can cut. And I'm not sure. It was, there was something, yeah. I think it's the only uh, way I know these maps from is uh, from watching the world records, but I never really played them myself. Nice slide out. Uh. Okay, zack, zack. Bit of a GP map, how coast players call it. Uh. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, no. That was too bad. Did I play also with wheel back then? Uh, yes. I play with wheel from the very beginning. The coast soundtrack is kind of banging. Not gonna lie. Uh, oh wait, wall ride? Any wall riders? Suck. Five head. <laughs> there you go. Should be enough for the AT. Yep. Alright. Play another track. Yes. Coast C3. What do we have here? Coast seems so slow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it also is slow. It's by far the slowest, um, the slowest things in the game. Snow is also kind of slow, at least at the beginning, because the acceleration is really bad. But Coast is just slow everywhere. But it's also kind of what's making it cool. Like, Coast is also the most realistic car, sort of. Like, realistic in Trickmania terms, of course. Okay, what now? Ah, what is this? Ah, dude, Nadio. Nice obstacles. Have I done the Trickmania uh, Nations Forever campaign a lot? No. Not really. I know all of the maps, of course, from all of the virtual videos, from the world records, etc. But never really played it. 
But I did already play it on stream a couple of days ago, including EO5. No! I slid out. No, fuck. Is it still enough, though? I'm two and a half, two and a half seconds in front of gold. No, it's not. Scheiße. Ah. Uh, a little bit unnecessary. You know what's also co a cool thing, actually, which a lot of you guys don't know? Like, um... I guess all of you know, like, the kind of altered Nadio campaigns um, that exist in Jigmania 2020, etc. Like, reverse, or when everything is dirt, and whatever, you know? And, um, there was, there's something possible in this game, which is uh, called environment mixing, or envy mix, how you say it in the short term. And in that, you basically, uh, for example, drive with the coast car in the desert environment, etc. And you can combine it with every variation that there is. And uh, so you can technically make play with the coast car on every single Nadeo map, etc. And those Envy Mix campaigns, they were really fun to play as well. Those were kind of the altered Nadeo um, campaigns of this game. Like playing with, I don't know, like the desert car on every single map. And then you repeat it with the snow car, etc. With that you have a shit ton of stuff to do. And the same is actually uh, possible in Trickmania 2. Because um, Trickmania 2, for those of you that don't know, um, offers from itself the environments uh, Stadium, Canyon, Valley and Lagoon, which are the four environments. But with some updates some years ago, um, they made it possible to play all of the Trickmania United Forever uh, cars. So for example, uh, Desert, Coast, etc. Like the ones that we're playing right now in Trickmania 2. So technically, for all of the Trickmania 2 uh, games, or like campaign maps, you can play them with all 10 cars that ever existed in Trickmania. So that's hella wicked. Alright. Zack. I don't wanna get beaten by Sonic here. Yeah. Where am I going? Can one issue. Why am I racing Sonic? Yeah, long story. <laughs> I actually know the long story. Uh, it is possible to download skins in this game from... Yeah, th this game basically has an own uh, ecosystem where people like host uh, websites, kind of. And on those websites you can uh, buy stuff with the in-game currency. Like you can buy tracks, horns, skins, etc. And yesterday I had some fun buying some stupid skins. <laughs> Alright, base C5. Oh, this map has a cut. This map has a cut. How was that possible? I've, it was somehow possible to immediately get to this checkpoint here. But I don't know how, to be honest. But it was possible. Because you can basically skip this whole driving point here. Which is kind of long. Okay, suck the turn. Good. Then we jump up. Dude, smooth jump on the map. Not what I expected. Mm -hmm. Okay, zack. Then we go here. Nee, 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 nee. Okay. Okay, then here. Don't hit the sign. And finish. There you go. Coast. Done, ladies and gentlemen. And with that, we only have... Uh, I, I think we only have... Uh, yeah, we only have snow left. So, uh, five snow maps. On one of them, I'm top two in the world. Look, I'm 100th behind the world record, man. Sad. Here, I'm also 10th. Way too dank. Alright. Coast C1. A map that I played a shit ton of time. So let's see if I still remember what to do. I remember there is the trickster here in the start. Where you can basically jump all the way diagonal like this in order to not have any airtime. But it's super difficult. Wait, did I say coast? Yeah, no, we play snow, of course. Snow. Not coast. <laughs> We're racing the skateboard. Obviously. Because why the fuck not? Everything is possible in Trickmania. But kind of like this. You can just avoid all of the airtime and then you have more speed. Like, that was now really badly executed, and it's still way faster. Then, zack. And there you go. 
then finish jump bit to the right here and there you go good 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 why is there a skateboard uh why not <laughs> why shouldn't there be a skateboard <laughs> No, but I, I downloaded some custom skins and uh, the offer medals, yeah. They just pick random skins. In this case, a Pokeball. Because why not? <laughs> Yesterday I also played with them myself, but they mostly all have uh, custom engine sounds. And they stay, uh, yeah, get annoying somewhat quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> I kind of stopped using them now. <laughs> Alright, suck. Could I get the airship? Uh, no, I didn't find find it online. But there are also skins actually that you can download, which are like extremely big. Like they're like five blocks long or so. There's like for example, um, you can you can race with the Eiffel Tower, but there also is a cruise ship and ah, it's way too dank. Side jump, cool. Oh yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge, for example, as well. It's way too dang. Alright. Finished. Got the AT, so we can go to Snow C3. Alright. Oh, this one has uh, multiple cuts, actually. I'm gonna show you the normal route first, and then I'm gonna show you the cuts. Like, the snow maps, for example, like, snow is my all-time favorite environment. I also like it more than Stadium, for example. And, um, so I know all of the Nadeo maps from those. Alright, so the normal map would be to drive like this somewhat. Ooh, oh, God. Uh, yeah, great. Then, optimally, you don't fully bonk the pole. Then you go down here. Then here. Then here. And uh, the tube, and that's the finish. And this map has uh, two cuts, and one of the cuts has like two different ways, basically. Let me let me show it to you. But there is so much. Uh, there's you can cut the whole map, kind of. It feels like. All right. So first of all, there's a cut in the yeah somewhat in the start or in the middle, kind of rather. Which is also not too difficult to do. Let's hope I get. I hope I get it now. <laughs> so. Instead of driving around here all of the time, you just can drop down here into the checkpoint. Easy peasy. And then in the ending, you can uh, either respawn over here, go backwards, and finish from behind by going like this. But the thing is, this is pretty difficult because you hit, have to hit one specific spot of the finish in order to get up there. Basically, you have to grind up that one edge. Or what you can also do is, um, I think it was possible to jump out of the pipe here, land here, and drive up here into the finish, so you have a little bit of less distance to travel. But the ending cuts are both pretty difficult. But I'm gonna go for the start cut, that one should be easy. Gotta just break here, oh, try so. Yeah, amazing! Perfect cut grenade. Man, man, man. That way I'm never gonna join FWO. Hella disappointing. I think this is already 18, 19, man. This, this campaign takes so long. Like, holy shit. Okay, let's fully break now. Zack. Checkpoint. And let's just finish the normal way. We are pretty free AT here. Once you know the cut. And finish. There you go. Uh, yes, it was Trackmania Wii. The thing is, um, they also re like there is a team of uh, Trackmania community members um, that recreated some of the environments in Trackmania 2. So there's a whole Trackmania 2, uh, basically entire game with an own campaign, etc for Alpine, or like Snow, which we are playing right now, and also for uh, Desert, for example. I actually don't know if I am wanna play this. Like, it's not Nadeo made, but it's kinda cool. Maybe I will actually also play those. We will see. 
But technically you can play the snow there as well with like more blocks and the same physics etc. So that's technically the newest version of snow. But the newest official one is um, from the Wii game. Yeah, Trickmania 1 Alpine, exactly. And then you also have Trickmania 1 uh, Desert. And I think there also is Trickmania 1 Bay. At least I remember that they wanted to do that. I don't know if it's if they're still in the if it's still in the making or if they actually did it already. No clue. And small drop here, small land bug. Can I even make the jump? Oh my god! Not yet. Base in the works. There is a closed beta. Okay. 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 All right. We got it though. So we go to Snow C5, the very last map of the blue series, until we got all of the offer times. I don't see shit, man. Uh, will you play the PlayStation Trackmania game that Nixolai played? Wait, what PlayStation Trackmania game? Is there a PlayStation Trackmania game besides Turbo? Or what do you mean? I'm confused. I mean, Trackmania Turbo exists for PC and then also for uh, Xbox One and PS4, I think. But I'm gonna play it on PC, of course. Because I don't even have a PlayStation. I actually have an Xbox, but, uh, closed beta. <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? Huh? I'm so confused. <laughs> but closed beta, XCD. Uh, are the Trickmania Nations Forever tracks in the Trickmania Unite Forever campaign, or are they extra? Um, they are an extra campaign, but when you order, or when you ha when you buy Trackmania uh, United Forever, you also get the whole Nations Forever campaign included. So, like, Nations Forever is part of United Forever, but Nations Forever is a whole own game, kind of. Okay, suck. Suck. Let's maybe not hit the forehead now. What about that? We have to break here. Suck. And good. Suck. Small side jump. And pew, pew. <laughs> I forgot to do the horn. I rem Guys, we have the horn. I forgot about that. All right. Um. So, question is, we have we we won't finish uh, the red series. Should we still start it uh, till cup of the day, or should we just hop to Trickmania 2020? I think I'm just gonna start it honestly. I think I'm gonna start it. We can. We still have like half an hour almost. So let's just let's just go get as far as we can. Oh, this map. This map has a cut. Wait. Look at this. So instead of driving the turn here. We can go like this. And suck. Easy. Small but efficient cut. Gut. Noten, guys, noten. Then suck. Smooth jump. Oh, very smooth landing, Nadeo. Oh, I hate those dirt blocks. Like, I never really enjoyed the old dirt blocks. They are so bumpy and so unsmooth and so buggy and just ugh. I never liked them. Alright, what's this now here? Uh, Sucked freewheel? Uh, okay, finished. Easy. The game I meant that Nixo played was Trackmania DS. Are you playing to are you planning to play that? Yes. I will play like there are two Trackmania DS games. One of them is called Trackmania DS. And the other one is called Trackmania Turbo DS. And basically one of them um, has uh, three environments. Which I think are... I don't know which it is. But the other game then has the other four, basically. So you have, like, all uh, Trickmania United Forever environments also on the S. And then there also is uh, Trickmania Wii, which also has all seven environments you have in this game. And we're gonna play all of those games. The thing is, I don't know what I can go for on those games, because I heard that some of the offer times are absolutely broken there, because they were driven with different physics. It's like way too dank. Like those games will be a complete shit show. I can already tell you. Like there will be such a troll fiesta. Oh nee, what's this jump? Mm. Like those are the only real bad Trickmania games that exist. Like most other Trickmania games are all good at least, but uh, DS is terrible. The DS games are absolutely garbage. And I never played them, so it will be fun. Actually, uh, actually we did play them a little bit. Um, I remember in a trick, uh, when we were at the Seto Tea Cup, um, that one night, I think it was even after the actual Seto Tea Cup, um, we went to KFC at like 2am in the night, together, like all of us okay boys, 
together with um, Iri Koldo. And uh, I think Unscore had his DS with him. And we actually uh, battled, e battled each other uh, on Trackmania DS for a little bit. At 2 a.m. in the KFC. <laughs> it was way too dank. Ah, yeah, sp ah, true. Spam was there as well. True. And it was Mario's DS. Yeah, okay. Apparently, I don't remember anything. <laughs> but yeah, Spam was there as well. And, uh, yo, was way too dank. And then there was, of course, yeah, Lars, Marius, Chris was there, and wait, I only got gold, scheiße. So we go again. That was kind of fun, but that was the only time where I played Trickmania DS, and that was only for, like, five runs or so. So, yeah, not too great. No, oh, I just, fuck. Dude, Nations Forever Dirt is so awkward to drive, man. Okay, clean. Never mind, I touched. Fuck. <laughs> Not so clean. What is this jump one? Ay, ay, ay. Yo, I father. Hello, hello, man. Welcome, mister. Okay, is this enough now? I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, it should be enough. It should be enough. Yes. Okay, good. So we go to Stadium D4. What is okay, boys? Uh, yeah, just check out the command in the chat. It's basically our group of uh, Germania players. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? An Adeo tech map? Seems like it. Way too dank. Look at those beautiful tech turns, guys. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Way too dank. And yo, but then half has got this run. 69. What an amazing nickname you have. Okay, it's suck. Grenady cam 1 action. Way too dank. Uh, to, the right, uh, to the left. Suck, suck. Free wheel. There you go. Should be enough for the AT. And yup, very good. Stadium D5 now. After that, we only have um, the E maps left, of course. Like for the Black series, um, each environment has one super difficult map. Basically. Okay, suck. This map also has multiple cuts, actually. I remember. I think one of them was to backslide here and get over the wall or some shit, but it's yeah, a little bit too difficult now. We don't need it for the AT. Zack. Ah. Okay. Then go here. Ah, I remember that hole there. Nadeo actually placed the hole there. Very not so nice move. Oh, nee, nee, nee. Ah, oh, got it, got it. Uh. Nee. Okay, got it though. Scary finish, but we have it. Good. Alright, stadium uh, red finished, so we go back to island. Let's see. And we're driving against the GT500. Wicked. Of course you have to go to the right. Uh. Yeah, plat the platform uh, game mode will be really difficult in this game as well. Like, there are a lot of maps that I never managed to finish uh, with zero respawns. I hit the lantern. <sighs> so that will be really difficult. Do I remember most of the maps? Um, kind of. It depends on the environment. Like, the stadium maps, not really. But the ones from my favorite environments, which I also played myself, uh, mostly, yes. But also not entirely, like, just parts of it, kind of. Okay, no slide, suck. Then into the checkpoint, uh, into the turn here, no slide, suck, suck. 
No slides, gut. Ah! Okay. okay. I think there's the finish coming up somewhere over here. Yeah, here. And I'm gonna jump too far. Amazing. Way too dank, camera. Way too dank. This song is always anxiety inducing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of, yes. Dragmania United platforms are easier than the harder ones in Dragmania Original and Sunrise. Do you think so? Because I remember, even when I tried uh, platform back in the days, there were a couple of maps um, that I just could never finish with zero respawns. Especially some of the stadium maps. Is this playable on keyboard, probably? Um, mm, island here, this environment, mm, kind of, but not really. Like, on most of those environments, um, analog device is just way inferior, uh, superior. Like, there are some environments which are completely fine for keyboard, like uh, coast and also desert. Ugh. But island and valley especially are pretty bad. Nadeo with the Pokeball. Uh, okay, that was not great, but we are ahead. So let's make sure. 360? Way too dank! Way too dank! Wicked! Absolutely wicked! Wicked in the chat. Okay. D2 done. We go to C. Uh, D3. What is this map? Oh, this map! On this map, I used to have world record. I remember, I used to have world record here. Yeah, 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 I remember. But I think I don't have it anymore. Yeah, island looks really beautiful, especially like look at the sky in this uh, like when it's sunset. Isn't it beautiful? Look how it looks like. Mm. It's so beautiful. You can tell me what you want, but this looks absolutely gorgeous. Like seriously, it's, oh look at the, look at the colors. Mm. Like pink and orange and oh, way too dang. Ah! Oh, Nadeo, why are you always speed checking? Man, man, man. <sighs> Always the same. <laughs> Looks like the first JPEG you find when you type in Sansa the Ghoul. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's not bad. It's exactly. A, I mean. It looks good. It looks good, guys. But I refuse to believe otherwise. Okay, want a low jump, of course. That was yeah, okay. -ish. Zack, zack. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's release now a little bit because Nadeo doesn't like speed apparently. And here in the ending, then, um, there is a trickster in this tunnel. Where you can uh, basically roof hit the checkpoint and also the sign next to it in order to full speed the jump so you don't have to release. It's way too dank. It's super cool. So, this is a really cool map to hunt. I enjoyed this one a lot. Okay, wait, which map was this? D3. So, we go to Island D4 now. Yeah, like the thing is, uh, even in Trickmania Sunrise from 2005, it also looked exactly as good. And back then, from, for a game from 2005, it was like, dude, it was like next level graphics actually. Like it was so fucking good. Uh. Okay, zack, zack, zack. Where do we go? Uh. Okay, bit of a full speed map here. But Chroma does not have WR here. Disappointment. Oh, fuck. I went too early. Where is Sonic car? Yeah, I don't know, man. But here we have the bike. The bike is also covers. Oh. Good one. Is that a freaking Lambo? 
the island car, kind of. I mean, it definitely is supposed to look a bit like it. Maybe also a mixture with some other, like, sports slash hypercars. But it's meant to look like one, yeah. I think even, uh, sometimes Nadeo even called this car a sport car themselves. Like, the environment is called island, but they called the car a sport car. So it's a mixture of multiple sport cars that exist IRL, I guess. Ah! Nadeo! Why are you always doing me dirty like this? Always the same one. But you don't really see it. Like, once you see it, you're gonna crash. It feels like you always have to crash there once in order to even know that you have to release there. It's such a Nadeo moment, man. Okay, but now. Now it will work, guys. Inhale all of your copium, we need it. So, zack, slide. Super inside, super release. Zack. Okay, that was absolutely garbage. <gasps> oh, I remember. Wait, there is a cut in the ending. Should we cut? We're gonna cut. We're not gonna cut. What happened? Fuck! Well, it's basically possible to directly jump to the finish. Wait, is this still AT? No. I got overtaken by the fucking bike, man. <sighs> Grenade is struggling on island D4. Amazing. And I land, but oh, I landed too far, too much sideways. Let's try again. Zack, zack, good start. Never mind, what the fuck am I actually doing? Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Not going too great today. Not right now at least. Come on man, I wanna continue. Let me survive everything so that I don't have to play this map again. Alright, suck, alright. Nine! Oh god, I almost flew off again. Can I make. Dude, this map is actually trying to annoy me. Ah! Hello! Let me survive! The map really isn't that difficult, <laughs> it's just me being stupid. Okay, I'm just gonna continue this, fuck it. Okay, no, I'm not. Oh man, this is not even a black map yet. It's only red. Come on, man. Wait, did I get a slowdown? Yes, I did. Amazing. And I slid out. <laughs> I think I'm never gonna finish this. It looks like I'm trolling on purpose, but I'm not. I really am not trolling on purpose. Okay, the drift cancel, but doesn't matter. We don't even have to be fast, like it's not even difficult to beat the AT. It's just kinda difficult to survive this mess of a map. Alright, should we go for the cut though? I'm gonna give it one attempt. Come on, we have to give it one attempt at least. So we go here. I'm not gonna make it. I have to backslide. Oh god, oh god. Uh, nine! Dry! Okay. <laughs> we still beat gold by five seconds. Amazing. Alright. Get me out of this map, please. Thank you. Ah. Okay, island D5 now. Oh look, this one has the this one has the way to tank. Uh, here, war ride roads. Look at this. Wicked. Those roads are incredibly weird to drive on. No, there's a checkpoint, right? Dude, I released for the whole jump and I still overjumped. Ah, <sighs> Nadeo. 
Why is Nadeo so mean to me? I don't know. Nadeo mapping in a nutshell. Here. So, released for half a year? This should be fine. Yep. And I land one. Good. Alright, zack. Uh. The Bobot oh, Polar Pep jump. Okay, that was a good one. Uh, and I touched. Amazing. And another quarter pipe. No, I don't. No, I failed it. <sighs> Drink water? Yeah, once I finish the run here, I will hydrate. Trust me. But give me some time, guys. Okay, release. Suck. Now. Yep, good. Better than the start before. Uh. Alright, then release because tight turn. Tight turn. Now low jump. God, that was. Uh. Okay, I have, I have to drink something. I have to drink something. I have to calm down. <laughs> Too low of a jump? No, that was not too low. No idea what you mean. Alright, zack, zack. Yeah, very smooth. Now, again. Okay, better. Now, way too high actually. But better than too low. That's for sure. Then suck. Alright. What to do now? I'm a little bit scared, honestly. Wicked camera. Let's hope I don't overjump. What now? Okay. Please tell me there's the finish now. Och nee! Och Nadeo! What the. Oh. Uh. Uh. Like. Uh. Uh. I, I don't want to anymore. Uh, I probably got it, uh, Pantoffels, but I didn't look at it yet. I just got a snap from him uh, in the barn, in the tram. Gonna take a look later. Alright, can we like finally finish this map please? I think this will be the final map for today in this game. Because cup of the day in 15 minutes already. I still have to warm up a little bit on uh, good old Trickmania 2020 stadium. Because otherwise the cup of the day is gonna probably be short for me. Oh, I didn't uh, ma uh, I didn't pay attention, Pantoffels, to what Marcus was worrying. Oh, fuck. Dude, if I don't make this jump now, I'm gonna be really mad. Okay, wicked camera. Alright, I make it. Alright, now I'm gonna make it first. Zack! Can we jump over this actually? <sighs> okay, scary? But we got it! Island D5 in the pocket, man. Let's fucking go. Okay. So, uh, we finished Stadium and Island on red. And tomorrow we are definitely gonna finish the red series, the rest of it. And also the black maps here. Which we unlocked by getting gold on all of the uh, previous maps from that environment. And then we still have the platform uh, game mode. We have the stunts game mode. And we also have the puzzle game mode. That will be so amazing. Oh, this will take ages. <clears throat> so uh, let's hop straight into the main menu. And for those of you that have not watched the past days. Um, Teletubbies has invited you to be his buddy. Do you accept his invitation? Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm now buddy with Teletubby. Very nice. 
But yeah, um, we were uh, al we already entirely finished the Nations Forever uh, campaign with all of the tracks that you guys probably know, like AO1 and also the long EO5, etc. Um, and we already started with the United campaign. And the United Forever campaign is basically um, what comes with yeah the United Forever game, obviously, uh, in addition to the Nations Forever campaign. And this campaign offers four different game modes. And uh, yeah, we're not even done with the race series. Because the issue with uh, Trackmania United Forever, which is not really an issue, it's uh, the biggest strength of the game actually, is that it offers seven different environments, which are Rally, Bay, Coast, uh, Snow, and also uh, Stadium, Island, and Desert. And for the race mode, each difficulty in each difficulty, each environment has five tracks. So each difficulty already has 35 tracks. So overall we have like a shit ton of maps, like if you compare it with a normal Trackmania 2020 campaign which has 25 maps. This one has like, I don't know, 157 I think it is, so like a lot of maps. And I think uh, yesterday we came, yeah we finished, the, we, we went to the Red series and we finished Island Red, so we, now we have to go to Desert. So let's do that, before though we have a Smile Redemption and we also have a Close Up Smile, okay wait wait. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, but yeah, um, so we only have to finish a few more of the red tracks and then also the black tracks and then we can hop into platform, which might be a big struggle actually, we're gonna see. <laughs> we're definitely gonna uh, reach that today, so let's see how big of a struggle it will be. Alright, first map of the day here, desert environment, we have desert D1. Of course, I'm always going for all of the offer times, which uh, overall shouldn't be an issue. But some tracks are actually quite difficult to finish with a clean run. So, let's see. <laughs> also, just ignore the custom skin of the offer medal, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, suck. Drop. The thing is, um, I played this game for a very long time. Like, I played this game for thousands of hours, like literally. But, um, I didn't really play the solo mode that much, actually. So, starting from the red maps especially, I don't really know the maps that well anymore. <laughs> so I kind of uh, I kind of know what I'm doing, but it's also not like I know all of the maps entirely. All right, first map, first try actually, very nice. So we can go over to Desert D2. And there we actually really have to hurry up a bit because I think I already played the game for like 6 hours or so. And we're still on game mode number 1. That's not too good of a progress. <laughs> Right here, we're actually interesting, with those things here, there is a trickster to like skip the bumps on the side. But it's kinda difficult to uh, control. Ooh. Yeah. Did I miss the booster? Dude, I exactly missed the booster. Amazing. Alright, let's see if we can still beat uh, Nadeo here. Yeah, most Nadeo times are uh, not that good. I missed the booster again. What am I doing? Okay, with that I think I'm not gonna beat it. <laughs> oh, will I? Nah, we'll see. Dude, I don't see shit. Adeo. Okay. Ah, pose. Uh, more pose. Okay. Uh, oh god. Uh, okay, made it. <laughs> that was a very wonky run, not gonna lie. Isn't hurrying up the entire point of the game? I mean, yes, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I really wanna finish the race game mode because, I mean, racing in Trackmania, like the race game mode, is like the most normal game mode and what people are doing most of the time. But it's kind of the least exciting one, you know? If you compare it with the others, like platform or also uh, stunts, for example. It's kind of more fun to spectate, I think. So I hope I can first try most of the maps here. We will see. Depends on how big I am. And how big the maps are. How much I remember them. Ah! Great. Okay, this will be difficult now, I think. I think I will not catch this up. Fuck. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. If I'm too Pepega, we're not gonna make it. No, I think there's a finish after this turn. Scheiße. Nope, unfortunate. Yeah, we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna do the anti riolo We're just gonna play the game at faster speed and still get the ATs. Pfeiffer. Then we can easily beat it. Pretty good. Would that count as cheating, actually? I mean. I mean, you're giving yourself a disadvantage. Would that count as cheating? Or is that not cheating then? I mean, I 
actually interesting question. I wonder. What would you guys say? Would that count as cheating if I would play the game at like, I don't know, 150% speed? I mean, I guess. But is it? I mean, I don't know. Because I mean, the reason Riolu got banned was because he could do more inputs uh, and therefore control his car a bit easier. Yep. Okay. Then we're not gonna do it. Okay, let's not fly out here now. Okay, zack, bobsleigh turn, completed, 34% steering, and there you go, wicked camera! Look at Nadeo medal, two seconds behind. Absolutely slow. <laughs> Alright, uh, Desert D4. Third party software, but I mean, the x is also not cheating, that's the thing. Like, in this game, actually, people use the x uh, a shit ton. Especially for the rally environment, because for the rally environment, for those of you that don't know, um, you often only have to steer like less than 50%, pretty much all of the time actually. You never have to full steer on rally. And that's why pet players are using the DX tweak. But that doesn't count as cheating too in this game. At least, I mean, some people thought, think so, but people use it in competitions and yeah. So you know. But yeah, okay, it would be cheating. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Not that I would have done it anyway. Why is the desert theme song so goofy? I mean, I kinda... It's like... It's the most desert song I've ever heard. Which is kind of a compliment, I guess. But it's also weird. <laughs> uh, okay. Quick reflexes by the wheel player. Wait for that. Uh, tight turn. Yeah, great. Are we just gonna follow Nadeo? Okay, it's stuck. What now? Okay, some obstacles. I don't see shit. Zack, zack. Okay, easy. Alright, let's not die at the ending. I think at least the ending is coming up here. Zack, uh, and finish. Oh yeah, smooth jump Nadeo. Very smooth. Oh, but I did a backflip. That was very wicked. 100% cheating if Nadeo had to actually decide. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Alright, we finished Desert already, guys. So we now can skip over to Rally. And Rally is exactly the environment that I spoke about. Um, the car is extremely sensitive. Like, for all of you that already tried Rally at some point, you know exactly what I mean. Like, the car is super sensitive and... Like, even for those turns here, I steer like maybe 20 or 30%. Like, you really don't have to steer much. Which is exactly the reason why... Um, People use the X tweak because it's just so much of an advantage and makes it so much easier for pet players. I have a bit of a castle map here. I think I remember this one actually a little bit because this one is quite cool to hunt. Alright, suck down and then the left turn. Yep, 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 yep. Oop. And I think there's already the finish. Yep, easy peasy first try. There you go. Wicked. Alright, and yo, Floppe, guten Morgen. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, Rally D2. What do we have here? More of an off-road map. Didn't this one have a cut or some shit? I mean, a lot of... Quite a few maps in this game also have cuts, but... I don't really remember many of them, to be honest. But I think this one had a cut at the start or something. But I have no idea. Didn't play those maps in like three years, so... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, smooth landing, somewhat. Suck drop. I really like those off-road rally maps. I kind of like the... I, I don't know, they just feel nicely and they also look cool. Like for a game from... Two, I mean, this is basically still the graphics from the 2003 version. Like, they only slightly upgraded it. And for that, it just looks so good. Ah, fuck. Wait, Nadeo? Stay off. Okay. Didn't get overtaken. There we go with the AT. And yo, loops. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, loops is always in any chat. <laughs> it feels like. Kinda true. The cut goes left after checkpoint one. Okay, yeah, I, I, I remembered something, but ah, it's just been too long since I played this. <laughs> okay. Smooth drop. Way too smooth for a Nadeo map. Oh, yeah, great jump. Yeah, okay, no, we have to restart. Alright, let's try again. Zack, zack, smooth landing. Somewhat. 
And now we jump straight. I better go now to go left. Zack. Zack, zack, zack. To the right, I guess. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay, right turn. Now, the old metal is actually still kind of close, so I'm a bit monka. Uh. Don't want to get sniped again. Mm. Alright, there you go. Got it. Two more rally maps for now. What do we have? Rally D4. I actually have an official time here. Wicked. Which map is this again? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This map has a shortcut. Wait, wait, wait. I, I remember this one. I remember this one. Look at this. You jump out of here and jump here. And then from here, you jump here and suck. It kind, It's so smooth of a shortcut that it looks intended. But it isn't. There you go. Way too dank. FWO, where is my invitation man? Alright, then there was another trick uh, coming up somewhere here. Yeah, over here. Wait, look at this. You can cut the ramp in here. Zack! To land a little earlier. Way too dank. Okay. Uh, what else? I don't really remember the ending of the map. Zack, zack. Zack, zack. Oh, that was actually a pretty solid run, I think, because there's the finish here. Yo, nice. Good, 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 good. Got it. Almost five seconds ahead of Orphan Metal. Way too dank. Alright, Rally D5 now. And then we only have 15 more maps until we have the black maps. And in the black series, um, there are not going to be five maps per environment. There's only going to be one. Like one for each environment. But therefore, it's a very long and difficult map. So this is going to be uh, interesting later. Especially because I don't really know the black maps. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, this one also has a cut. Wait. I think you could turn around here and just go to the checkpoint directly. I hope at least it's correct. Suck. I think I did it kind of wrong, but kind of like this you can cut. Okay, suck, suck. And yo, Jin, Winke. Winke and hallo, guten Tag. Alright. Now jump to the left. Ooh. Ah, fuck. Okay, doesn't matter. And finish. There you go. Alright, rally done. White check mark emoji. We got it. So we can go over to Bay. Bay is one of the environments that uh, got introduced to the game with Trickmania Sunrise. Uh, yeah, Bay is actually somewhat difficult. What are we ready? Dude, this fucking skateboard skin. <laughs> uh, Bay is actually. Kind of similar to Stadium, somewhat at least. Um, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's kind of similar, I guess. And it's also a pretty cool environment to do. It's pretty fast, pretty uh, can be very hectic to play Bay on certain maps. But it's a really good one. Why is the ghost a bike? I mean, why not? <laughs> nah, but uh, when I played this game for the first day, like two days ago, um, I. Uh, uh, I downloaded some custom skins. <laughs> because why not? All the Bay D maps have cuts. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. But I think most of them are too difficult to do now. But it's actually kind of funny. Like all of the red Bay... Oh wait, I can do this one. I can do this one. I think I remember. Wait, let me try to reroute. So, first of all... Suck. Okay, go here. Oh, I hope I can remember the route. Let's see. I mean, there are multiple cut routes on this one. I'm just gonna take the easy old one, which is still faster. So we go here, here, here. Uh -huh. Great. Good mapping, Nadeo. And then I think we had to jump here. And now we had to go here. Uh -huh. Tuck. Then tuck. And I think now we have all of the checkpoints, pretty much. And now what? Yeah, we have to. And now, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. Okay, I just need to not fail the finish. Let's see. Where's finish? There's the finish. Ooh. I'm so mad. I'm honestly just mad. How did I not hit that? Ah! Grenade moment. <coughs> okay, we go again. Fuck! How did I. Dude, what? How did I not hit that? Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna make it now. Just to show that this cut road works. Okay, zack. 
this time. Don't hit the forehead. Okay. There's also a way more difficult cut route, which is also faster, but it's, yeah, as I said, way more difficult. And definitely too difficult for me, so not gonna go for that. Alright, next attempt now. Zack, over wall. Gut. Now I will make it. There's no way I'm gonna miss it again. Nein! How? <coughs> Dude, are you actually serious? How did I miss that again? Oh, man, I'm so mad. <sighs> really mad. Really, really mad. <laughs> How did I not hit it? Man. Okay. Let's let's just go again. <laughs> zack, 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 zack. Slow down. Oh, I got a roof in actually. That actually uh, made me go faster. Way too dank. Uh, okay, not the best landing here. What a clean run. On a scale from one to ten, uh, from a scale from one to clean, this is definitely a ten. Okay, this should still be fast enough, I hope. As long as I hit the finish, of course. So, uh, <laughs> nothing is set in stone yet. Yeah, save. Zack, there you go. Man, man, man. <laughs> but yeah, the cut worked at least. At least it worked. I remembered. Okay, Bay D3. Uh, yeah, this one also has a cut, but I think this one was rather difficult. So, I don't really remember what to do here. So we're just gonna go normal. We're gonna beat the AT the old-fashioned way. Zack. Looping time. So... Okay, release a bit. Zack. Scared. I'm driving way too fast. Uh, okay, intentional warbang. Don't ban me, Nadeo. I still wanna play Team Joe. And yeah, I think you could cut this slow part here at the ending or something. But I don't know exactly how. But anyway, we still beat the AT by almost 5 seconds. So, way too good for the AT again. Okay, um, Bay D4 now. What was this map again? Uh, oh, this one had an interesting loop cut, I think. But that one also was way too difficult. So, we're not gonna do it. Let's just go normal. To show dominance. We don't even need to cut the beat the AT. Easy. Okay, some obstacles here. Oh god, that wall bank completely saved me. Did you see that? If I would not have hit the wall there... So this is the looping you can skip, by the way, but uh, yeah, not the middle. But if I would not have hit the wall there, um, I would have completely died. <laughs> so that was, of course, calculated. And yo, Pantoffels, Linke. Ah, red boost. Oh god, what is this camera? Wait, am I gonna overjump? Oh god. Dude, I almost overjumped. That was scary. Alright, we beat it though. Very nice. Bay D5. Let's go. <coughs> Do we need the song overlay? Uh, not really. Uh, let me quickly turn it off. Tuck. Okay, this looks a bit better though. Because we don't need the song overlay anyway. Because we are, of course, listening to the OST. Alright, what was this map again? Okay, obstacles. Saturday team map. Okay. Interesting mapping. To say it's least. Good job, Nadeo. Absolutely nicely calculated. Could be a track of the day soon. How much do I need to release here, man? Holy shit. Wait, I think I remember the cut on this one. What do I? Wasn't it jumping here? Wait, what was... Wait. I think... Wait, what was the cut here again? Uh, What was the cut here? Okay, I don't remember. We're just gonna go normal. <laughs> it's been too long. The thing is... uh. I know most of the maps here, and I also kind of know about the cuts. But since I'm not really a player that likes to hunt cut maps, uh, yeah, 
I just don't really remember them. So I kind of know them. I know that they exist, and I know roughly how they look like. But that's about it. <laughs> Alright, wall right here. Suck. Another wall right. Okay. Big guy. Okay, good choice to release her. I would have overjumped by miles. Alright. Pull now. Left. Pull. pull. Suck. Drop. Wall bang. Wait to dank. And finish. Wicked. Wait! Uh. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was a little bit unnecessary. <laughs> it, was, it was enough. <clears throat> Nobody saw that. Alright. <laughs> ah. Okay, uh, so we only have coast and also snow over here left. So let's go over to coast. Which is another environment from Trickmania Sunrise and uh, yeah, it's a little bit resident sleeper for most of you because this environment is actually the slowest out of all existing Trickmania environments by far. I mean the Coast Car can go pretty fast with Red Boost but it just feels slow, you know? It just feels slow. So not as exciting as Bay for example, but it's still pretty fun to drive actually. The thing is about coast is uh, that you can easily slide out when you steer too much. So it's a lot about getting like optimal racing lines and not oversteering. It's a little bit like IRL racing, kind of. Yeah, if you over if you oversteer, it looks like this. Like you, okay, that didn't work. Really? I'm gonna show you on the next map. <laughs> Fuck. Because when you slide out, you just slide like. You, get, you cannot steer at all. You have to cancel the slide and then uh, just go again. And you lose a shit ton of time with that, so you always want to avoid that pretty much. Alright, Coast D2. Ugh. Yeah, now I slid out, for example. Alright, suck, suck. Suck. <laughs> Great. Touching in an uphill, that's always amazing. Best thing to do. Okay, let me show you. This is how it looks like when you slide out. Like you just have like no control basically. Not a good thing to do. Wait, can I still be 18 now? Okay, we have a we have a fight, guys. We have a fight. Okay, I think we don't have a fight anymore. Oh, ah, Paul. Ah, Paul. Okay. Monka ending, but was still enough. Coast was the most fun to drive in race modes. Uh, I mean, it depends. But a lot of people actually really like Coast. Like, I think it's one thing you either like, you either love it or you hate it. And I think everybody starts hating it, but once you play it more, you start liking it, sort of. And yo, Shadow Crancer guy, Mega Moin. Alright, what do we have here? Suck, suck. Good start. Where to go? To the right. <laughs> okay, jumping over the house and great jump, Nadeo. And the coast soundtrack is pretty cool. Bim, bim, bim. Uh, bim. Ah! Fuck. Not so good. Am I still fast enough? How did I beat AT with that? <laughs> Okay. I mean, I take it. <laughs> I take it and we go to Coast D4 without questioning anything. Okay, this map is long. Over a minute. Holy shit. <laughs> Great start. We are racing against a cow on a tricycle. In which racing game can you do that except for Trickmania? Alright, off-road part. Mm -hmm. Monka W. Ah. Okay, not the clean run. But I think AT is also struggling here a little bit, so. Shouldn't be an issue, to be honest. Ah, slide out. I think I have to crash already like five times, and we're still one and a half seconds left. Amazing. Ah! Why is there a hole, Nadeo? Is this a set of team up or what? It kind of feels like it. Just placing obstacles randomly everywhere. 
Mann, 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 Mann. Okay, wir noch doch. 360 to the finish for the fans. Zack. Not really a 360. Coast guy is a bit too slow for that. But it works. Alright. Uh, Coast D5. Another one minute map. Let's uh, see if we can do it first try. Not like this. Fuck. Okay. Where to go, where to go, where to go? Ah. Awkward turn. I think this map also had a cut, but I absolutely don't remember. I Like the Coast Nadeo maps I barely played at all, because I really didn't like Coast for most of the time I played this game. Oh, wicked camera, man. Way too dank. Uh. Uh. So yeah, I didn't really bother hunting the Coast Nadeo maps. Because those people that were good at Coast, they were really, really good at Coast, so... It was like tough beating any of their times. Nee. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Full, I had full control there. Okay, and now we go over to the very last environment for uh, the Red series, which is Snow. Which is actually, out of all of the Trickmania environments, my most favorite one. Because I just, yeah, I don't know, I just like it. It's very momentum based, uh, you always have to try to keep your speed high up. And we are racing against Sonic. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it's a really cool environment, and it's also pretty good for a wheel, because the car is very sensitive. It's kind of similar to uh, Rally, like you never really want to full steer, most of the time at least. So I like it. Okay, what was this point again? Uh, zack, zack. Okay. And yeah, one, also another big point of uh, Snow is that basically on every jump and drop you have... Wicked camera. <laughs> Look at Sonic! <laughs> Uh, XCD. But basically on every single jump you have on each map, uh, it is possible to get a land bug. Which sounds stupid, but um, most of the time it's possible to avoid those land bugs with certain like uh, certain angles etc. that you, you can land in. So you basically can avoid landing bugs with skill. And it's like actually a big part of the game to like know how to avoid the bugs. But since they're not random, it's not really a disadvantage, I think. I mean, I, mean, I know uh, a lot of people also hate it about Snow, but I like them. Okay, what do we have here? More Saturday team map, apparently. Zack. Early landing, very good. Okay, didn't really remember that. Then to the left, and even more to the left. What now? Oh, come Ah! Nine! Okay, wait, we just go the finish in the back. <laughs> I think you want to take the early finish optimally. But yeah, we beat it. Very nice. Snow D2 in the pocket. We can go to Snow D3. Wait. Oh yeah, it's this map. This map is hella short. Like, it's a red map. And they are usually at least like 40 seconds long. And this one's only 21 seconds. Because, uh, yeah. I don't actually know why. <laughs> like, it's literally only two jumps this map. And that's about it. <laughs> Wait, can we do 360 is the question. Yeah, no, only a 180. Nein! I steered the wrong direction. I'm so stupid. Man! Fucking inverted steering in Trickmania. It's so confusing. Shit. <laughs> Man. Wait, can I do 360 here as well? Wait, okay, wait. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. And we are racing against a Pokeball. Way too dang. Okay, wait. Zack! Wicked! Dude, that was so clean. Okay, that was not so clean. Scheiße. Let's go again. We're gonna finish. We're gonna beat the AT here with two 360 guys. Zack. One. Okay. Not one. Oh, we are close to the Pokeball though. Yeah, I can only go 180 here. Ah! We beat it. Zack. Ah, this counts. This counts. This counts. I take it. Was a wicked run. Alright, Snow D4. I think this is a bit of a full speed map, yeah. This one is pretty cool. Discount. <laughs> Discount. Uh, don't cack about how I pronounce certain words. Okay, this map is really cool. Look at this. It's so 
Like the snow environment uh, or like the snow car has like the slowest acceleration out of all the cars, but it can go really fast, as you can see. With enough boost, this car is going super fast. Okay, suck. 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 And clean landing. Suck. Kind of a cool map. I really like this one. That was actually a pretty solid run as well, I think. That was not bad. Okay, uh, Snow D4 done. So the very last map of the Red Series is Snow D5. Which is, I think, a map I used to have world record on at some point. Well, I was like at least... I think, I mean, I was like behind Techno, I think. But, yeah, technically that means I had the world record. Right? Okay. Suck. Be landing. Not. Then we have Cube. Then up the hill. I think the ending of this map was really tricky, but I don't really remember why. So I'm a little bit scared. And I hit the checkpoint. Absolutely amazing. Is this done after Plex? Uh, the race mode is over after the Plex maps, yes. That's what you mean. Landing of this drop is like really buggy. That's not fun anymore. <laughs> okay, zack zack. Nein, I'm so dumb. Doesn't matter, we're still ahead. All good. Still ahead of awful. But well, are we? I'm not even sure. We're gonna see at the finish line. <laughs> okay, so about the finish line, I think there was like a big jump. Yeah, look, with this booster ramp, and if you have enough speed, you can jump very far left, actually. Like, all the way, basically. But you need good speed for that, so... Didn't really have that. Yeah, don't worry, we still have a lot of stuff to do in this game. Like, a shit ton of stuff, actually. This landing is so unsmooth, man. Nadeo. Okay. Zack, zack, ah, fuck. Okay, that was pretty bad. But let's just continue. Touched again. What am I doing? Okay, but now we should have enough speed to uh, make the risky jump, like the risky finish, sort of. At least I hope so. Uh, ah, maybe not. I'm just gonna jump back here. Wait, that's not enough! Fuck! Ah! And yo, Felknir. Yes, morning stream today. Man, I wanna show you the cool finish. What am I just doing? Yep, tree. You feel like old Trackmania mapping is more wicked than the pre uh, than the current one. I mean, kind of, yes. It feels like. Which is kind of weird, but... Yeah, kind of, yes. Okay, that was kind of clean landing. Ah, let's get it done now. Come on. Come on. Dun. Dun, dun. Small break here to not overjump. Now, lenken. Lenken, lenken, lenken. Yeah, this will be enough. Good. Zack. And you can jump all the way here. Good. There you go. 4764, 8 seconds ahead of go uh, ahead of offer. That was actually a good run, I would say. Okay, uh, and yeah, with that we finished the red series. So we got all the ATs from white to red, and with that we unlocked all of the black maps. And uh, in the black series, only there's only one map per environment, but therefore the maps are pretty long. Uh, yeah, I would say we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna start with stadium, and yo. What we're doing over here, we are uh, playing Trickmania United Forever. Because currently I'm playing through all of the old Trickmania games that have ever been released. And I want to beat most of them at least on 100%. Alright, so good old stadium here. Basically, yeah, exact same physics as Nations Forever, for those of you wondering. Also same blocks. Nothing to face here. 
And I think this map is Omega awkward, if I remember correctly. Ah! Yes. That's exactly what I meant. And look at my skin, guys. Look at my skin. Isn't what do you think about my skin? I made it myself. How do you like it? I wonder. I think it's a masterpiece. And your Xenotix, hello. Yeah. It's one of the skins I ever made. <laughs> yes. Okay, now slide over here. I think now we had like a really buggy third part. Yes. Yeah, land button. Zack, jump. And let's warbang. Zack. Good. That's like the... Uh, that was like, that's like the only cool part about the old dirt, that you have those warbang turns. Okay, looping time. Zack, zack. Oh god, dude, what is this? Ay ay ay, okay, I'm just surprised that I survived this, to be honest. Holy shit, that was unsmooth. Nadeo mapping in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready to jump here, I hope straight. Yes. What now? Okay. Smooth grass part coming up. Let's go for the triangle. Amazing. I mean, I did go through the triangle, but not very smooth. But I think there's the ending somewhere over here. At least I hope so, because this nightmare of a map can really come to an ending. Oh god. Zack, zack. And finish, I think. Yep. Woo! There you go. Very nice. And we have a smile. There you have it, Birdie. Birdie, for you, I really like to smile. <laughs> but yeah, first black map done. Stadium E, now we go to Island E. And this map is uh, very dank. It has multiple different shortcuts. Maybe actually, can somebody uh, search out the task of this map? Because then we can maybe watch this, the one Kimura made. Because this map is just way too dank. Alright, but yeah, um, without the cut, it's just like a regular island full speed map, sort of. With quarter pipe jumps and loopings and a lot of boosters and all of that wicked stuff. Let's just finish it the normal way. I think quarter pipe jump can be right here. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Good, good, good. Guys, don't even dare sending rig rolls. I can see the preview of YouTube links when I hover over it. You kex. Don't even try. Alright, another quarter pipe jump here. But island full speed maps are pretty wicked though. They are pretty wicked. Okay, suck. Then we go here. Another quarter pipe coming up. No idea where we jump. There, okay. Good. What do you mean we didn't send any? Yeah, 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 yeah. I will find out if you do. Oh, okay, I will find out. Alright, suck. Then more looping. A four or five jump, a very low one. Oh. I think I'm like one. One light here away from both, uh, from off of them, yeah. I'm 14 seconds ahead. I don't even know the map properly. And finish jump. Very nice, good map. And look at the time I did, 151. And the task is like, I f the task is like super fast. You're gonna see. Uh, which is the correct task here? One minute, and this one is, yeah, this one here. Wait, somebody sent island E1. City. But no, this one here. So the task time is literally only uh, one minute. So this one beat my time by 51 seconds. And it's just way too dank. 
it's just way too dank, honestly. The thing is, um, there's a technique in the island which is called the TP bug slide. And the TP bug slide is a little bit like um, it's a little bit like the nose boost, you could say. It's the nose boost of island. And with that you can just be extremely fast. So yeah, first of all, uh, this map is of course one big reroute basically. What's this camera by the way? Wait, do we also have it? Okay, here we have it in normal camera. Let's watch it like this. So, first of all, you jump out of the first wall right here. Zack. Then you land in a bug slide. Keep as much speed as possible because you need it. Then skip the booster here on the side, which is extremely difficult to do. And even then, he only barely has enough speed to make this jump over here. Already way too dang. Look how close it is. Alright, then we are basically at the ending of the map. Here, kind of regular driving. Then here, the TP bug slide that I spoke about. Which is basically like a normal bug slide, but you get like teleported a little bit. Maybe you see it. Then here, zack, skip the quarter pipe jump and the looping at once. Land in the bug slide, of course. Then from here, we jump all the way here into this checkpoint with a bug slide, of course, respawn. And now I don't really remember anymore. Ah yeah, now with full speed, need to perfectly aim in order to barely land over here. Then skip the red boost because otherwise you don't get over it and drop into the finish. And this is like almost twice as fast as the normal route. It's like way too dank. So yeah, it's insane. It's insane. <laughs> Alright, uh, but yeah, island, D uh, island E finished. So we go to desert now. Let's go. Wait, hello? Game? Where's my game? Oh, I'm in the wrong scene. Amazing. Here we are. <laughs> Hello! There we are. <laughs> Always takes some time. Alright. Wait! Before we drive this, there's a shortcut here. Watch and learn. Wait, even Nadeo! Even Nadeo is shortcutting! Do you see that? Look at this! Fucking Nadeo with the cow skin is shortcutting! Dude, I didn't even know that. Look at this! Fucking Nando, man! <laughs> Nadeo is shortcutting! With the cow skin. Way too dang. Okay. <laughs> Nadeo cutting their own maps. El Clasico. <sighs> okay, I think this map is very tricky and very long. Bim, bim. Yeah, pause. Bim, bim. Bim, bim. Okay, zack, zack. Dude, this map is almost three minutes long. Alright, trickster here to skip the bump a little bit. Zack, worked. Yeah. Alright, free wheel. This map also has like a lot of small shortcuts. It's crazy, but I don't really remember them. It's a bit of a kick corner song, it's true. Okay, small position part. Then we have a jump. Speed landing. Pause. And speed landing. Okay. I don't see shit. Oh no, 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 no. Nein! Och nö! Are you serious? Okay, wait. Can we still beat off time with this? I'm not sure, honestly. Quite far behind. Ah, uh, let's try. With pure skill. Can we catch up? Place your bet now in the chat. Can we catch up to 80? Okay, I think we can. <laughs> ah, maybe not if I play like this. Come here, little bitch. Don't even try to escape. Oh, fuck. Ah, we're not catching up. Ah, hole. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Nadeo, come here. I'm getting outrun by a cow. And it's over. Scheiße, man. Fuck. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna catch that up. Yeah, okay. No, no. Mission abort, mission abort. We go again. Alright, we're gonna try again. 
pretend I didn't get beaten by Nadeo in a chaos game. Exit. How do I not puke with this camera in those turns? I mean, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just a matter of getting used to it. I think this cam 1 also is weird. This cam 1 moves so much, it's so dynamic. Ah. Oh god, how did I not hit that? I was so close. Alright, skip the bump. Ah, great. Skip the bump, but bump the pole instead. Ooh. Oh, why did I break? I'm so stupid. Now I have no speed! Why am I so dumb? Yeah, amazing. Oh god, what am I doing? Just give me the checkpoint. Thank you. <sighs> We're never gonna get AT here. If I play like this. Alright. We just go there. We can definitely still catch it up. As long as I don't play like an idiot. What did AT just do? I think, it, I think AT struggled with the precision part there. Keyboard issue. I slid out. Amazing. Ah, yeah, yeah, this map, man. This map, this map, this map. You hear it was to the left, if I remember correctly. Yes. Okay. Now jump and don't die. Perfect. Smooth landing. Okay, we are definitely far enough ahead. Okay. Yeah, come on, six seconds. What can go wrong? What can go wrong, guys? Ah, hole! <laughs> okay, that was, that was kind of close. I kind of forgot about that one already. I didn't say anything. Okay, then here, break, because otherwise over jump. So, the thing is, now I don't remember what's coming up. Because I wasn't here yet. Okay, zack. And finish. Easy. Okay, we got it though. Not the best run at all, but uh, it was enough. So we can go to Ready E. Another really long map. Let's see if we can one-shot this, maybe. Because on Rally, the ATs usually are rather weak. Because, uh, yeah, this environment is just terrible for keyboard. And all ATs are driven with keyboards, so... Yeah, they are not really good. Thing is, I don't really remember this map at all. Shortcut. So, let's see. I cannot promise anything. We were already quite far ahead, actually. Three seconds, not too bad. I try to keep it up. Okay, zack, zack. Yeah, the bitrate on the wooden uh, thingies might be a little bit fucked. Yeah, the thing is about the shortcut, I, I saw the shortcut. I didn't remember it, I just saw it, that there's this one turn coming up. Don't worry, I really don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, shortcut, like this one. You just can see this. If you see what's coming up afterwards. Okay. And the thing is, uh, all of those environments don't really have that many blocks, so you can kind of predict what's coming up most of the time. Or like Trick Mania 2020, where it could be literally anything. Did I, did I just hit every single of those four rocks? I, I actually crashed. <laughs> Okay, that was a very embarrassing mistake. <laughs> Fuck. Now we only have half a second of a lead. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I just made it a bit exciting artificially. I think now we only have this castle part left and then there's, then there's the finish or so. So let's see. Okay, suck. Okay, we already gained like two seconds again for no reason. Alright, should be easy to do. Nah. Okay, maybe I shouldn't open my mouth too early. 
But I think there's a finish now. Yep. No hands. There you go. Okay, Bay E coming up now. Mm, do I remember this map? I mean, uh, kinda. I think I kinda remember this one. This one at least isn't that long. Okay, we just pretend this, uh, this didn't happen. XTD. Okay. Jump. Jump. Guys, that didn't happen. And hella answer. Okay. Can one of this envy is so weird. Perfectly skipped boost, very nice. This one also had a shortcut, I think. But I don't exactly know what it is. Oh wait, do I? Wait, wait. I think you can skip this over here somehow. This quarter pipe. Was something at this point, but I don't really remember. Also, one of those maps that I barely played at all. Okay, zack and jump. Wicked camera. Ah! Okay, not the swoops landing. Good. Yeah. Okay, looping. I'm scared at every jump that I'm gonna over jump. Because it's just such an ideal thing to do. Okay, so far so good. Zack, zack, zack. Zack. Ah, finish! Oh. Dude, I full break the entire finish jump. Hallo! Okay. <laughs> we still beat, beat AT by 5 seconds. Amazing. Alright. That's exactly what I meant. I'm so scared of overjumping, man. Always the same. Alright, Bay E finished. Now we go to Coast E. Oh, it's six minutes. Oh god, Resident Sleeper. Eight laps. Okay, eight laps of this map now. Amazing. But better than this, like in Trackmania Sunrise, for those of you that uh, didn't watch there, the very last map of the game was called uh, uh, Grand Prix 30, which was a coast map with 30 laps. Which was like 17 minutes long. That was absolutely amazing. Okay, but six minutes is still okay. Basically a Team GL map here. So that's fine. Okay, lap one already done. Maybe not die in lap 2. Right, beating AT should be pretty easier of all. The deal is not really good at long maps. Oh, again, the exact same slide out. Fuck off. Ah, imagine learning out of your mistakes. And I slid out again. What a great map. Definitely not my fault, it's the map's fault, guys. It's the map's fault. The map is awkward, not me. I'm quite wary. <laughs> can I see if I can do it again in lap 3? I hope not. But after that, there's only uh, one lap left, uh, one lap left actually in the race mode. And then we finally finished game mode 1 out of 4. We still have so much coming up in this game, it's crazy. The thing is, uh, one thing, uh, I think I already spoke about it yesterday. Slide out. Uh, another thing that I maybe wanted to do in this game, uh, since I played this game for like thousands of hours, I also built a lot of maps in this game. And most of them were actually pretty good. Like I, I used to build like very transitional and difficult maps. And I thought about maybe showcasing them once we're done with the solo mode. In case you guys are interested, of course. 
Like, those were all kind of maps that I built when I was like 14 to 16 years old. I had like my mapping phase. So if you guys are interested, I could show you some maps that I used to build in this game. If you guys want to. I can. This turret is such a fucking idiot. Man. The thing is, um, I only have the maps anymore that I downloaded, uh, that I uh, uploaded to TMX. Because I sadly lost all of my replays that I had in this game when I switched PC. Like, I could swear to god I saved it some somewhere, but I checked all of my USB sticks and my whole new PC, but I don't find all of the old stuff, sadly. So that sucks a little, but luckily I uploaded most of them to TMX. So we have a lot of maps to pick. Okay, it didn't slide out here, very good. Always the same two turns. Man, man, man. The thing is, all of you guys think that I'm shit at mapping. Because I actually am shit at mapping in Trackmania 2020. But in this game, I'm like, got your mapper. You guys will see. I built like very dank maps. Trust me. You will see. Alright, lap 6. Coming to an ending here. Only two more laps. Doubt? You don't have. You will see, guys. You will see. You will see. You guys are gonna be surprised about what nice maps I built. No one believes me, but you will see. You will see, my friends. You will see. With one of my snow maps once, couldn't finish it. Yeah, skill issue. Skill issue, for sure. I mean, I actually built some really difficult maps, where j with, which have like, you basically have to um, drive the map perfect in order to clear some speed checks, etc. But you will see. Probably still gonna take some time until we're gonna play this. Because we still have to uh, finish the other three game modes. And also the Star Treks, which is uh, something different we're also gonna play, which I'm gonna explain later. But we still have a lot of tracks to do. Okay. Zack. Wait, oh, we almost overlap. If I would have driven better, we would have overlapped actually. Sag. Okay. But with that, Coast E is gonna come to an ending, finally. Because this map is not too great. Tokyo Drift into the finish. Zack, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I'm only bad at stadium mapping. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, and with that, um, yeah, we only have to play Snow E, which is one hell of a map. This one also has shortcuts, but I don't remember them, so we're just gonna go normal. But yeah, make sure to lean back, get some popcorn for the last race map of the entire game. At least from the uh, regular race maps. Yeah, Snow E, definitely uh, a beast of a map. Not too easy to finish, quite tricky, especially with the shortcut. But we're just gonna go the normal way. Because I don't know the cut. <laughs> ah, clean landing, cover. The thing is, I don't even know if I know the normal route. Because usually you always drive with the shortcut here because it's so much faster. House close. Zack, 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 zack. Yeah, no, 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 no. Is this the third game? Um, no. This is. I mean, it depends. We had Trackmania Original, then Trackmania Sunrise Extreme, then the Trackmania Sunrise Extreme Browser game, then Trackmania Nations ESWC, and then technically also Trackmania Nations Forever. So this is. Yeah, depending on how you see it. But if you guys are interested in uh, what games I play in the throughout the marathon, then you can check out my Discord and then the announcements channel, because there I have a schedule that I keep up to date with all of the games that I'm gonna play. And also when I play them, etc. 
You can check out that if you want to. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, survived. Okay, what now? What do we have to do now? Hit the checkpoint. Amazing. Good mapping audio. Good, good, good. Monka W said, this is exactly when the envy, like when snow can get really, really fast. When you have a lot of boosters, tight turns, it's... <laughs> then it doesn't feel like the slowest environment anymore. Or like the, the environment with the, like the car with the slowest acceleration boost. Okay, it suck, suck. Suck, suck. Let's do a little bit of Chem 1 gameplay here. Uh, which feels giga awkward to me. Land back. Uh. Grenade on Cam 1 gives. Wait today. Zack, zack, zack. It's better than on other environments actually. Not too bad. Bing, bing. Bing. Okay, those close. Bing. Did I don't shit in those uphills. Ah, okay, let's switch back. <laughs> I'm getting two Monka. Oh, nee, checkpoint. Uh. Ah, ah. Yeah, nice. In the free wheel, of course. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Uh -huh. Okay, crashing the free wheel part. Always an amazing thing to do. It is so slow. Ah, god. Okay, there's the finish. Can, it, can I even finish like this? I hope I can. And yeah, road crew worker, it's uh, it's intense. <laughs> Alright, but with that, we finished Snow E. And with that, we finished the entire race mode. Look at this, congratulations. Only one player <laughs> out of 522,992 collected all the medals of this campaign. Way too dank. So we got all of the ATs, very nice, 588 overall. Uh, yeah, good, 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 good. And with that... Um, uh, yeah, we finished the race game mode and now we still have platform, we have stunts and we also have the puzzle game mode.